He called me sir. It got me so humiliated. People are discriminating against wolves. Wow. They're laughing at us, at our stupidity. In the beginning, there was nothing. And then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. I gotta get away this. No! Say, hey, man. You got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes I cry. Miss my butthole, he laughed. <laughs> From the strangest corners of the internet, here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective. Here are your hosts, the Drunken Peasant. I meant to do that. I meant to do that. Fuck that it. was completely intentional. It'll make sense later. Just relax, okay? Okay. Welcome to the Drunken Peasants you. podcast. Right this on is- top of that, Rose. Episode 934. Welcome, everybody. Asterios has left in protest. Oh, he's back. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, F- you fucked up the last time. Hello? This Hello. The last time. Oh, I was just turning up the gain on my AudioVox input. Didn't think you were going to say right. uh, gain. I was, I was well, like, I'm also working on my gains, but this is the different kind of gain. I thought you were turning up the gay. I think Billy gay. thought you were turning up the gay. That's what I thought, yeah. Oh! I thought you were turning yeah. up the gay, which, you know, has been turned down quite a bit lately. Yeah. I don't know if that's Somebody because we're cis, that. white, hetero males, and Asterios is the only one that can break through because he's, I don't know, <laughs> what, what, what are you exactly, Asterios? Accepting. Liberal? The word is what is it? Accepting. Except you're accepting. The word okay. is nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Stereos is the one that breaks through. Turn up the gay. Everyone, turn up your gay and like the stream. Okay? Here's how you turn up the gay. Okay, reach out, grab that knob, and just twist it. Just a bit. Just turn that dial Reach up. out and grab your mouse and click the like button Tur- to turn up the gay to full max gay. Click Reach click. out and fuck me. <laughs> so... I want to talk about something we've been following for quite a while. And well, look here, for, I'll put this on the table again. If you donate, Uh-oh. I will drink for money. Yes. All right. <laughs> yeah. Make the first let's one at three hundred, and then every. Let's, let's hurt this oh, man. He's let's been hurt. Kill by, him. He's been hurt let's by doing this before. When we hit three hundred, yes. and every other intro, intro, interval, introvert, introvert. <laughs> well, what if we hit an introvert? Uh Okay. For every odd number of dollars donated, yes. Magicus will take seven shots. At every seven level shots. of 50 Look, interval. Like so once we hit 300, a shot. 350, a shot. 400, a shot. 450, a shot. 500, a shot. All the way up until 1 million. And then we'll make him stop sure. drinking. Let's and then we'll take him, him like to the hospital. pledge. Let's hurt him. <laughs> That's how it is. There's no frats anymore because they weren't done Spanking. correctly. And we're doing this it correctly tonight. Badly before. <laughs> we this is this is uh this is our DP fraternity, Delta Phi. This is our fraternity. True. If I was in Go a fraternity, Greek. it'd probably We've got be... a real Greek here too. I... Oh my <laughs> god, we've gone Greek. Yeah. Yeah. If I was in a fraternity, it would it would be Delta Fart. Yeah, you know, uh, I think Asterios. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Delta fart. <laughs> yeah, the Delta variant. Yeah, we'll get. We, we've got. We've got some fart content coming up uh, later. We do? Oh, it's one of the funniest. Oh, great, great. Uh, I'm glad you got my letters. Uh, here's um, here's the the news intro. We'll we'll play that and then we'll cover something. Oh, the news intro. I've never seen that. Interesting. Yeah. Where did we get this special toy? <laughs> Wow. They're laughing at us, at our stupidity. At our stupidity? Yeah. And you better well learn to love it. Oh, 
Oh no, Magic is his hey. full screen here. Weird. Oh, you're on the news. Magic kiss. Yeah. Yep. Woo. Damn it. Magicus looks like a ginger haired kid's testicles at the pool that changes in front of everybody. Ginger kid testicles. I looked at it Keep once. Keep this motherfucker away You're from your pool. I looked at it That's once. Keep word. him away from public pools. I looked pools. at it once when I was Ban nine. Billy the Fridge the from kid public was pools. older than me and it's been burnt oh, in my head okay. ever since. Oh, he, oh, you, you Why was he walking over. around with no pants on? So, we used to have a guest on our stream, and she was also a guest on many other streams uh, of, of other shows we have collaborated with. And Some sort of stream whore. In February, well, she was a, a, a pornographic film star also. Nailed it. And she, uh, she was arrested in February of 2019 under uh, allegations of molestation against her daughter, her young daughter. And mm. she's Are we going to turn her into content? She's been yes. in, she's been in, well, right. well, well hold Let's on. Bring hold on. Even more out of this. But well, we also over the on, top dude. monetized it and we have a, an episode of her an original episode 185 on our uh, Patreon for patrons $10 <laughs> and above. They can watch me react to it as well. So, so she's making us money both in and out of jail. This yes. is great. She's yes. a renewable resource. Yes, all vagina is. <laughs> we haven't Passive talked about income. her in a while, and there's been someone flooding our Discord and other uh, fan interaction platforms because they're saying oh, that, that was me. Sorry. <laughs> basically, they're saying she's in danger because she got COVID. She was put in a. Uh, she was given a new cell partner. Yeah. That came in with covid and she got covid she's been awaiting uh trial for years now and she's been stuck in county jail awaiting trial she got covid they moved her to a medical facility uh where prisoners oh they're go. not allowed to say hospital anymore are they oh okay well and it's not necessarily not a hospital not on wwe <laughs> See, that was for you guys that joke was literally just for the three of you. I know you look. I'm gonna stop interrupting your introduction now. <laughs> I not. only I only watch wrestling that my friends are in. So she was moved to this medical facility, and it turns out that the doctor that's the head of this medical facility, according to this information that I'm about to show, is her ex-husband who's accusing her of all this stuff. What? Yes. Oh. How is that legal? And Small world. Some, and this was sent to me. This is the. I, it, someone needs to look into this to verify it because I, I, I looked it up. Kind of like the doctor exists, and the place where they say he's the head doctor is true. But I don't know. It's the crotch are, shot radio. Are you show. suggesting the crotch shot radio show isn't a viable source I've of news? I've never heard of it before. I this. get almost all of my news from crotch shot radio dot x y z. True. Uh, crotch shot radio dot no x y z reports. Here. Mercedes Carrera, the adult movie star who was arrested along with her husband Jason Whitney, spoke with me on the phone from jail. Mercedes Carrera and Jason Whitney have been in jail since February first, twenty nineteen. They're both still awaiting trial. Mercedes Carrera called me from the West Valley Detention Center. She was in quarantine after contracting COVID-19. COVID. After the, ju the jail placed Can an infected... Guys, please stop interrupting Ben. Oh, wait. wait. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it was a I little late. Same it was to a little you, late. pal. Yeah. It was a little late, Galzia. Yeah. Wait till Ben now. starts talking again and chuck us another 20. Um, according oh, to Mercedes... There was a homeless woman in her cell. Kind According to Mercedes, time. the homeless woman refused to bathe because Hold she. On, I I hate to be interrupt, yeah. guy, but once you're in a jail cell, are you still homeless? Home is where the heart is. So I think everybody yeah. in a jail and cell. And my heart's is in homeless. jail. Oh, who are you, Johnny Cash? <laughs> the woman refused to bathe because she did not want to wash away the smell of her boyfriend off her body. Oh. Viable sure. reason not to bathe. Uh, Absolutely. During, during quarantine, she contracted anemia. The medical facility prescribed her iron pills that caused issues with Mercedes' coronavirus heart. When she complained about feeling comp comp 
implications, they switched her to Liquid IV. The Liquid IV. It's either Liquid IV or Liquid 4. I'm not I sure. Think it's IV. I think it's Liquid 4. The Liquid 4 gave Mercedes Mercedes the same complications. Mercedes has a family history of heart problems. So that's 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 she's homeless and heartless at this point. We, we skipped some of that up there, didn't we? Oh no, we didn't. Where is it? Mercedes oh, believes that she developed autoimmune hemolytic anemia. Autoimmune hemolytic Autoimmune hemolytic Anemia, I ha, occurs when your immune system makes Will anti. Someone please poop on my chest. Channel finder <laughs> Ben Chanel Fender is coming for you. Cummies, 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 yummy, love you, sweet bois. Love you too, trash boat. Uh, sweet bois. I like that it French. went French on the last yeah. word. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it occurs when your immune system makes antibodies that attack your red blood cells. This causes a drop in the number of red blood cells leading to hemolytic anemia. She might have iron texema, which could be uh, fat, BW fatel, as well as not being properly treated. The jail medical oh, that's, facility... That's what I search for on Craigslist is fat, BW fatel. Yeah, I love them. <laughs> Uh, the jail medical facility refuses to give Mercedes a direct anti-globulin test. Uh, did they misspell boglin? An anti-boglin <laughs> test? <laughs> DAT for the autoimmune... Troll 2 reference? Maybe. The autoimmune hemolytic Sorry, that's anemia. Merce Mercedes with a 2 in the middle. Yeah, I don't get that. Is facing a no-win situation either. She dies via iron poisoning or from thernon treatment. <laughs> Okay, yeah, uh, someone needs to spell check this article a little bit. The direct antiglobulin test, DAT, determines whether your red blood cells, RBCs, circulating in the bloodstream are covered with antibodies. The antibodies that are attached to the surface of the RBCs are responsible for their destruction. She's being treated by Arrowhead Regional Medical Center Emergency Department, who are in charge of the medical care of the jail. Ironically enough, this department is ran by Mercedes Carrera's ex-husband, Dr. Louis Tran. Yeah. Uh, Wait, Dr. Tran is real? Yeah. And he's uh, dishing out hot dickings. This could be direct <laughs> conflict of interest and could be seen as her ex-husband trying to kill her when you also take into consideration the state basically does not have a case against Mercedes. This is such a weird, weird situation. And it's, like we're getting our news source from Crotch Shot Radio. Yeah. I, Does that make it weird? Or is that this is weird? Or is this like are we getting these siphoned little morsels of stuff that that Mercedes sends to Crotch Shot Radio from her in prison I, phone calls? Obviously this obviously this person is getting calls from Mercedes. I don't know if they've looked into this. I did do a Google search on this doctor and he is a doctor in California. Is he her ex husband? I don't know. I don't know how to find that. You'd have to look under her real name. Like, did he marry and Mercedes Carrera? This guy here married Mercedes Carrera. She claims her that her real name isn't Mercedes Carrera. She claims that her ex-husband, this guy, is like a, a big-time religious person, and talked their daughter into accusing her of all this stuff to get her arrested. Look. I would believe this guy would talk their daughter into doing all this stuff to get her arrested. I don't believe this guy would knock up Mercedes Carrera. He Why? doesn't seem to be in her league at all. I mean, he's a doctor. He you seen, probably has money. Have you seen some of the he's big dick? He's a fucking jail doctor. The worst kind of doctor. Is that the worst kind? Are you sure about that? He's Yeah, uh, I've done the research. <laughs> no, he's the head of triage of the jail that Mercedes is being held at. So this is like, how is this? How is this legal? It's illegal. Ben, you don't go to med charge. school for eight years and do four years of residency to go work in jail. But what if it's you transferred kind of to doctor. jail because you knew your baby mama was in there and you wanted to torment her because you're a crazy well, man? Well, th then you're some sort of Vietnamese genius. Well, it's, it's evil genius, Scott. What the hell, man? The best kind, Billy. The oh. best kind. To break it down, the state knows they have no cast, so they keep pushing her they trial case. Wow. Oh, to force her to settle and plead guilty to bogus charges. Two, her baby father, the one who was pressing said bogus charges, might be in contact with her second husband, Dr. Louis Tran. So this is a, a different husband? This isn't even the baby dad? 
I think this is the baby dad. They're she has saying, so many husbands. They're saying the baby dad, her baby father, the one who was pressing said bogus charges, might be in contact with her oh. second husband, Dr. Louis Trent. Well, See, this is all weird. Yeah, this is weird. I wonder... <sighs> This, this guy's not even the religious freak. Yeah, so why would he have a vendetta unless... I don't know. So don't she's know. accusing her two ex-husbands of conspiring. Yeah, Which, if it I, does sound that way. If I would have been married to Mercedes Carrera and then wasn't anymore, I'd conspire against her for the rest of my life. I'm spiteful. I think she claims yeah, me that too. before she got into porn, she was like an aerospace engineer or something. She was an aerospace engineer? Yeah. Dude. That is an interesting career trajectory. <laughs> that's like a fucking M. Night Shyamalan twist. I could have <laughs> swore that's what she said. I hope that's, that's true. That's like a beach that makes you old. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good beach. Dr. Louis Tran is head of the triage of the jail Mercedes being held at. Four. She was purposely infected with COVID that caused her anemia. Five. Mercedes is being refused proper medical care. Six, San Bernardino is notorious for violating the rights of prisoners. Hey, this when, that, when all this adds up, I gotta say, this is some real malarkey. Yeah, you should get on the No Malarkey Express and travel on over there. That could be your next RV trip on the No Malarkey Express. I might have to. Ladies and gentlemen, we gotta we gotta get to the bottom of this. This is a clear violation of her civil rights and could we've, fall under cruel and unusual punishment. We've been waiting for the evidence to be presented in court to like reserve our judgments on this. But yeah. it's, it's been years now. It's been so long. Don't they both keep delaying at this point? Like, I mean, she has a right to a speedy trial, so she's waived that at this point. I think she's the one yeah. that's been delaying. Yeah, she has to. She has the right to a speedy trial. She could have the, tr she could have the trial within a month or two. Uh, after her arrest, and she didn't. It's been years. Forever been innocent. In county jail. If uh, that's that's a great way to maintain your innocence. Is Not if you in jail. Just sit in jail for the rest <laughs> well, of your life. Does she actually well, have innocent to proven now? guilty, and hasn't been proven guilty? Like last time we talked about this, right? We didn't she like have problems like funding a lawyer for her defense? Oh yeah. Oh man. Yeah, she has a public defender, according to what I'm reading. Yeah. Yeah. She does. Here's Mercedes' statement. She said, "Let it be stated for the record that if I die, I did not commit suicide." New or overdosed on fentanyl or any other illicit substance, but rather of medical malfeasance and neglect on the part of West Valley Detention Center. Dude, I hope it doesn't come to that. Everyone's crying wolf on the uh, if I die, I didn't commit suicide thing now. Like, it jumped the shark with uh, McAfee. McAfee. Yeah. I yeah. think McAfee probably did commit suicide just to stir some Me too. shit. He was yeah. just like, you know what? I'm going to tell them I never would, then I'm going to do it. That's funny. Oh, That's the troll. Uh, but yeah, I mean, they, 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 like, if she died of COVID malfeasances or whatever, anemia malfeasances, uh, they might try and say that she did a suicide or something, right? Or overdosed so they don't get in trouble. I have no idea. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what to think about this. And this is the crutch shot radio. I mean, I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this is true or not, but... Well, this is definitely what Mercedes Carrera is telling Crotch Shot Radio, right? That's what we know. That's what they're well, saying. That's what we assume. Yeah. It, 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 well, no matter what, she's in a no-win scenario, right? It's like, you have a fucking public defender, so basically, if you go to trial, you're just going to be found guilty because, you know... Yeah, sorry, you, have the word, you have a jail doctor and a jail lawyer. You're going to die. Like, if they did more than, like, seven minutes of research on her case, she'll be lucky. <laughs> It's very sad. It's all very sad. If she's not guilty of this and she's been sitting in jail for two years because she can't get proper representation and they're, all the people that she's past loved with have been conspiring against her, it's very sad. And then if she's just guilty of what she did, that's even more sad. Also sad. She can't get proper representation. Hollywood can't get proper representation. What's going on with representation, guys? I will say this, though. After watching her on episode 185, which I reviewed for our patrons, yes. $10 and above. It's up right now. It's, it's interesting to look at her when she was uh, young and hopeful. And she's going to come out of this she either did. guilty or not, but this is a or chunk dead. of her life. She did a real veterans charity 
She did Operation MILF where she fucked veterans. Yeah. Respect. Yeah. Operation MILF. That's that's yet another thing I would steal Valor yeah, for. Yeah, yeah com- compare that to Tribute <laughs> to the Troops. Do you think Nothing. there was ever a porno she Who's did Who's getting called- fucked at Tribute to the Troops? Me, that's who. <laughs> did she ever do a porno called Swollen Valor? No. That would be great. That's I like that. That's good. She did that's, one. You know what? That's better than Delta Fart. <laughs> <laughs> I like Delta she's Fart. She's like she's Hispanic. Uh she's I, I think she's like Cuban or something, but she did one where she Would you describe her as spicy? She did one where she got caught sneaking across the border and then she got gangbanged by a bunch of the like American border yeah. agents. That wasn't a porno. That was just that was a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Near the end of her career, she would... They, that happens a lot. She would have sex with some of the most beautiful women with the largest dicks you've ever seen. Yeah, she you're did like, do those, too. You're like, how how could this woman be so beautiful and have such a large, pe- and large have penis? And such a large dick. How does this work? <laughs> like, I, I'm all for an attractive woman with a modest-sized dick. Dude, but I swear. <laughs> and any more than that is putting a hat on a hat. How can you have the best of both worlds? How can you be a knockout woman and have what it's looks cheating. like a third arm? <laughs> <laughs> on this next video, I watched a little bit of it last night. It's really long, but I I was drinking, and at the time it was hilarious. <laughs> you don't say. We'll see if it if it translates that way now with some, everyone else here. Some of these women that she made videos with oh, could have stuck that. could have stuck their their members inside of a, a vending machine and pulled out a Snickers bar using only the tip. Were, it's, they, were they prehensile as they well? They were. Is there anything these women can't do? I thought she was getting eaten out by Snuffleupagus at first. <laughs> I, wa- to say I watched a video last night of Adam reacting to fart fetish stuff. My alma mater. Okay. And the look the look on his face. Billy, I swear to fucking God. <laughs> Don Cheadle. Is that you talking? Have That's for me. Don Cheadle. Ew. Who farted? These weird fart fetishes that make their way into uh, make their way into foreign mainstream animating commercials. children's television shows. Oh yeah, there, there's so much fetish like, shit. Get out of there. He's just doing a stream while he's editing a video. Why does this but look then delicious? He editing, he's editing our Oscars video. Yeah, and then he starts watching like fart fetish videos. He doesn't show them. Yeah, he's very Stop he's it. easily distractible while editing. He'll yeah. uh, he'll be editing the Oscars and then go and watch three hours of fart fetish cartoons. <laughs> these aren't candy, right? Like what she's pouring only into this cup. Three hours? Are these dipping dots? What is this? Yeah, it's candy. What was it? Was it like Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy or was it something else? There was one in the Lion Guard. The Lion Guard one was terrifying. What was the other one? There was like a gnome or something? Somebody p- post these on the cringe subreddit. Wait, wait, please stop. Please P- please, or pause it. Please pause it. Is this really what this guy sounds like? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You haven't so heard he, Adam before? So he's like, mm, Hello, everybody. Mm, time yes. to watch some farts. <laughs> yeah, he sounds Real crazy. Voice. <laughs> yeah. Mm, I can't wait to watch some ladies rip some big old beefers. <laughs> really? That's what he, he really didn't say. Like he can't wait. Well, he's not all he, he is. I, I oh, assure boy. you. It's crap <laughs> o'clock. I'm out of YMS. I, YMS stands for yo ho ho. Mucho sin for farts. <laughs> really? He sounds yeah. like this? Yes. I, I assure you, like, he is not putting on a voice. This guy's famous, right? Like he's a big, famous yes. internet guy. And he stuff. sounds like. Pee Wee Herman got kicked in the dick. Yeah, Blondie covered one <laughs> which, of his songs. Which really speaks well for how good his content must exactly. be. Exactly. <laughs> yes. If you sound like a cock <laughs> kick Kermit and can that. still get millions of views, you're winning. If I can find them. This, oh, shit. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Where it's like very clearly just somebody with a fart mm, finish. It's very decided, clearly with a fart finish. Episode, oh, like, time to edit. Show. 
I prefer Final Cut 7 to premiere. I'm so glad <laughs> that it's cold. Do we have a new Challenger for Stereos wins? I'm so glad that I have Cam X Challenger. My workflow. I am not showing. I'm just searching things in YouTube, and I found a thumbnail that would get me banned off Twitch. Holy shit. The title of the video is Bear Fart in parentheses Card Cardilver Kakaroo. C A R D L I V E R space K A K E R U. If you want to see what the thumbnail to that is. Like, apparently, it's just a bit from an anime or something. But they drew like the full asshole. Just pointed at the camera. It's like Winnie the Pooh's asshole. I guess so. At that, least this that dono gif lined up perfectly with a fart. I thought Cool Cat was ripping one with his leg up. Me in too. The air. Me too. I was like, "Holy oh, snap!" That's this timing. An anime. At least this is an anime, and it's like, okay, somebody put their weird furry fart fetish in here. At least it's an anime. We expect Japan to be disgusting, right. but America. <laughs> But at least that's an anime, like... Don't do it in kids' shows. <laughs> These are some wet farts. Game over? Game over? So I'm in a fucking playlist right Why'd now. Why'd Adam say game over? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a gigantic I'm playlist. I'm Jim Henson, and I died of something mysterious. It's actually Scott Henson. I, I'm I'm Scott Henson, and I'm going to die of something mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, do you own the rights to Kermit and Adam? Since your dad yes, died, yes, I do. And Asterios, you actually have to pay me a nickel for every sentence you've said so far. <laughs> My funeral will be heartwarming. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's clearly somebody with a fart fetish created. Um, it was hard. Farting warning. dragon compilation? What they the? put Big Blue Bird in a black suit. Yep. It was <laughs> weird, guys. It, it was weird. What? It's just the same clip over and over. It's they really trivialized my Stop life. Stop it. Okay. Uh, where's this fucking? Can I have one I don't know, moment Can to somebody tell me what show it was? It was on the cringe subreddit. It'd be cool. Uh, it'd be cool if you uh, stopped making fun of my dad. But uh, <laughs> anytime. <laughs> Why don't I go to an accountant's funeral with one of those green visors and an adding machine? I mean, I mean well, that on. would be cool. Asterios. That would be a nice gesture. Asterios, your voice really isn't changing that much when you do this voice that you're doing right now. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> Are you suggesting a stereo sounds like Kermit the Frog? <laughs> Why are there so many farts on my YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't know you were in the blast zone. <laughs> Here I come. Just don't put this in kids shows. Don't put this in kids shows. <laughs> How'd you like that? <laughs> oh, no. How'd you like that? I can't show this on stream, though. This is disgusting. It's disgusting. Let's see I'm trying let's to see find it. the one that I've... There's one from Fritz the Cat? What? This, this is a man who gazed okay. into the abyss, like and then the abyss long. gazed back into him. Oh, there's a Peepadu Season 2 Kickstarter fart or something? Okay. <laughs> this gigantic playlist. Holy shit. It's a big, like, fart playlist of... Like farts edited into kids shows. I have a tier level on my yeah, Patreon I where I send people farts directly, directly for them. It's my <laughs> fart. You level. should do like, farts. Yeah, you should do like the Bell Delphine. You should do the Bell Delphine of farts and like jar your farts and send them to people. Yeah, and their inflation playlist also. What are these? What are I'm these looking for something farts? So You've turned into a uh, Homsar from uh, by the way, Homsar. Runner. By the way, by the way, Asterios. <laughs> by the way, Asterios. Adam is in the chat right now too. Adam, hi, <laughs> it's me, Adam. There'd Hello. be so many. <laughs> I... Her 
really farts in G Force. Do not cry I'm gonna punch I like how these are the almost all exclusively furry <laughs> in this playlist too. Napalm in the morning. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's the reaction you give to that. I'm trying so hard. Can somebody please like you have to you have to let me know <laughs> what this shit is. What like is I'm, it real? it's a modern <laughs> Are you sure that they're... Are you playing 48,000 hertz audio at 4140 or something? It's, it's in 48 frames per the second. The, the, the human eye can't even detect it. Sarah, is this... Did he, is this like a 32-bit wave? And you're playing it through a 16-bit wave? Let me change the settings on Winamp really yeah. quick. <laughs> It's a modern television show <laughs> for children. Did you set the equalizer to twelve-year-old Canadian boy? Did like, you set this up? Not a gnome, but like like maybe too? a gnome, like a troll or like a spirit or like wizard or something. This like, and he would come to sniff the children's farts. And this was posted on the cringe subreddit in the past like three years or something. And it was so disgusting. All right, so I see the lion guard one. The Lion Guard ones are fucking cringe. That's I'm gonna I'm just trying to The nut job Some like Whoever made this playlist has seen like every single instance of Animals farting. <laughs> These media. are some creamy farts. <laughs> They're really creamy. Oh god. No, it's not the gnome fart. Hot funny, haha. It's they've got that's they've got body to them. Uh, some of these oh, don't sound like they're on, just yeah. air. No. Especially when like they're they shooting into their underwear. Like oh dear. yeah, that was Flynn's food. Foxes bury things to eat. Right. My farts Let's sound like, whoa, Coop Car with oh, the big whoa! dollars. Poop, 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 poop. Poop, 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 poop. My you know farts sound like they're more than just air, but that's because I have like a slap canal of flesh. <laughs> a slap I'm canal. I'm sorry. What, what, take me, can we, can we rewind that? Just one sentence. Can you take me through that again? I have a slap canal of flesh. Okay, thank you. When I when I fart, my the air has to travel through the slap canal. Like like one. like the, the can you now it's my I jelly don't know tenders. Like getting into your can you describe? I have about the four or five canal? inches of jelly tenders that create a slap canal when air shoots out. Because I got big old cakes. My tuchus is bigger, built different, built built bigger, better. I know, you, you've gone to the uh, the KJK school of cakes. He's yeah, using of course, like Yiddish that. terms at this point. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. On fanboys. Fart is what I do. That's not it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, there's like there's like um yeah the lion guard was disturbing and then this other one was also very disturbing the one that I'm thinking of. Um, it's. Cheers. It's like a oh, modern hey! television show. Oh, you, got, you got to do two. Yeah, that let's let's make it happen. That was a that second. Looks Good like job. the same yeah, animation. You know what? I didn't see the first one. Do another for Doesn't me. Doesn't count. Yep. <laughs> you can donate one ref, more for Dad. It's it's the classic pro wrestling rule. If the ref doesn't see it, it doesn't count. Doesn't count. You can get you can get a pin, a ten count pin, if the ref isn't there. Fact. Doesn't matter. Visual pinfall doesn't count. Same thing with the foreign <laughs> object. Style is like Billy and Mandy or something. The funny thing is, I'm uh, chasing. Asterios is extreme. my foreign object. Hot. I'm chasing my alcohol with more alcohol. Um. <laughs> New on two disc DVD. What's black? Lucky fish me did not get to. And white. And fun all over. What is it? <laughs> Disney's 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> I 
Um, I was thinking of something kind of funny when when me and Scott went to that uh, ad free shows Patreon thing. We kept seeing guys that looked like Conrad Thompson. Like there was a bunch so, of- so like so so for, so for those who don't know, so uh, we went to the big uh, AEW wrestling paper in Chicago a couple weeks ago, and then part part of that and sort of the reason we went is because Ben got this big uh, Patreon thing, I believe, for uh, for being a Patreon subscriber to Conrad's podcast yeah. at the one million dollar level, one million dollars a month for that's why I'm for, broke for, for for yeah for a hundred straight months. Um, yeah, so so Conrad is this guy who does these podcasts with all these uh, famous pro wrestlers, Kurt Angle, Jim Ross, Tony Schiavone, and Jeff he's Jarrett, Ric Flair's son-in-law, etc. Et and he's Ric Flair's son-in-law. Important point. So and he's this guy. So when you think of like I don't know a wrestling fan, uh, it's Conrad. Uh, he's like I don't know what what did we peg his weight at three fifty. Something like that. Yeah, he's a chunky boy. Three fifty, uh, s- southern accent, uh, neck beard, but like, yeah. So and so, yeah. He's like, you know, you know what I'm describing. You can picture what I'm describing. So, but also, in addition to him, who was one of the stars of the show, everyone who was <laughs> at the convention also looked like Conrad. But Con, uh, to his credit. Conrad looked the best. He was like their king. He was the king of 350 pound southern neck beards. Yeah. He was the best one. And that's why they give him money on Patreon. Yeah. And not the other way around. There's there's definitely there's a hierarchy of Conrads. But what Ben and I did the entire weekend was play Is that Conrad? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there was also a scuffed Brian Knobs there too. There was a scuffed Brian Knobs. Yeah, and and one of the funniest things I saw was they did a karaoke night, and a bunch of wrestlers from AEW showed up already drunk. And, and okay, the- here's okay. <laughs> so Rebel, uh, a a woman wrestler, although she doesn't wrestle much in AEW, the, one of the uh, events of the convention, it was the last thing on the Friday, I think, was Rebel's karaoke party. So she wrestled on national TV between 9 and 10 p.m. She then showed up to the karaoke thing at a new location where we were at 11 p.m. already drunk. (laughs) It was very impressive. Like, she would have had to start drinking the second she got off camera. (laughs) Yeah, and she she basically gave Tony Schiavone a lap dance. She gave Tony Schiavone a lap dance, and then she gave Powerhouse Hobbs... And you, you know that like stripper move upside down lap dance where you're in a chair and yeah. they just like 69 you <laughs> in uh, in the chair. Like so we wa- we saw Rebel have sex with like four people that night. Good. In public. It good. was crazy. It was good. Good. I yeah. would do it again. <laughs> good. Yeah. Asterios was not interested in that story at all. Asterios said, F this dude, and he did a... He's going to be sad when he finds out that... I was going to say Rebel Wilson. Uh, No, just regular Rebel. Uh, (laughs) uh, Sitting 69 powerhouse Hobbs. You're going to be sad you missed that, Asterios. It's a good good maneuver. 101 Dalmatians rare farting 2008 DVD commercial. Okay. (laughs) Where they made the horse (laughs) fart with a... Uh, like a fucking warp effect I go just for the commercial. With plenty of special treats, including a virtual Dalmatian skate and an all and new the, music. The, oh yeah, and there was this one guy who like didn't look like Conrad that was at the thing and we were outside talking to him and all of a sudden out of nowhere this woman comes and like like runs into him really hard and we look and it's Ric Flair's daughter. She just like randomly came and like Hip checked this guy that we were talking to. I heard the flares and then got awesome, really awful. flirty with him. Yeah, yeah, she did. She did actually. The flares uh, have been known to randomly uh, came at different points in time. The ejaculation. True. Audio just He's sounds like ear rape. And okay. And then, sorry, Maybe. sorry, uh, one more. Since we're on the, since yeah. we're doing the stories, I'm, yeah. I'm sure ben, Ben's mentioned it elsewhere, and I think has also tweeted it. Uh, so Brian Pillman Jr. was there, and uh, <laughs> and I, and I was I was telling Ben how I knew Pillman Jr. a little bit. We had been on a uh, 
on a show together in uh, two years ago in uh, 2019. And uh, when uh, it was my first time meeting him, like in in the locker room there, and when uh, myself and my uh, two partners in the uh, Fur Horseman were uh, putting our gear on, he got like really excited at our like crazy furry gear and he's like oh shit that's like really cool and then then he just started talking about like yeah like and like furry conventions seem really cool have you guys been to those and we're like yep we have <laughs> and uh and then i told ben all this and then a very uh i don't think i'm telling any tales out of school a very drunk ben <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> uh late one night where we just passed him in the hall uh, with his girlfriend or wife or whatever significant other she is, uh, just like wanting to go back to their room and uh, not be annoyed. Uh, <laughs> ben from Ben from across the hall yells, <laughs> "Brian Pillman, what's a furry?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like, "Hey, Brian, what's a furry?" And he let you know. <laughs> Uh, he he did like he, he tried to be nice. He's like I don't know. They dress up as animals. That like I want to leave. <laughs> yeah. Do you think he would answer more positively if you asked him what is a juggalo? Maybe. What is a juggalo? He would have been like, let me think for a second. I'll well, tell you what though. He gets he, butt naked. He has a beautiful mullet. Brian Pillman Jr. Yeah. He's crushing it. Yeah. He he he's bringing back the mullet. Yeah. Is it time to stop talking about wrestling and bring back Delta Fart? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, this playlist doesn't have it because they weren't anthro characters. Oh, that's probably what they're after. Well, I'll destroy it. No. No. Look out! She's gonna the couple. <laughs> Dinosaur <laughs> fart. Look out! She's gonna blow. There, there are a disturbing a uh, number of cartoon series where one entire episode in the series is just about farts. Like it makes me, make it makes me question the people making these shows. Me some As well, you should. <laughs> farts are funny though. One of the people making this show right now farts all the time. Ben, no. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Me, Don't stink shame me. I bet it's, I bet it's Ben. Yeah. I wish. <laughs> he who smelt it, dealt it, Ben. I don't smell it. I ben, hear it. Ben, how's your slap canal? <laughs> he doesn't yeah. smell it. He tastes it. I don't smell it. Tell I hear us it. about your jelly tenders, Ben. I hear it ben. and I feel it on the ground because it rumbles. I see Why do so many it, of the anime ones it. show the full buttholes? What? Why do they show the entire butthole in the anime? <laughs> Are these ones still also for kids? I'm so glad I'm not I'm, I'm on cam right now and not showing you what this, this is because I feel like Twitch wouldn't have any. Show us cowards! Why are you showing the whole butthole? There's a fart oh, scene yes. in Blazing Saddle. Give them stink them. How am I supposed to know it's a fart if I don't see the whole asshole rumbling open and then close? Rumbling. True. <laughs> Otherwise, it could just be someone shifting on a leather couch. I need yeah. the visuals. Since, I've had a couple of leather couch shifts. Since we're on the subject. Sure you have, Billy. They, it was definitely the couch. Gotta be the couch. Asterios just sent me this. Turns out women's farts smell worse than men. I want to point out this is Australian Turns out women are worse health. than men in every way. Quotes Asterios Kokonos, 2021. <laughs> Your thoughts, Asterios? To be fair, women are worse than men in most every way, but luckily men don't complain as much as women because women also complain worse than men, so it evens <laughs> out. <laughs> it does. You know, uh, water finds its own level. <laughs> yeah. I saw this headline floating around the other day, and I immediately was like, I knew it. <laughs> I knew <laughs> it. <laughs> They'll never admit it, but we know. Something about it is worse. Like when a, when your It's when worse. Your girlfriend or your fiance, your wife farts, like you you immediately know. The, the woman who's been pretending to be your mother for twenty years. It's like you get stabbed in the nose with it. It's like a different <laughs> level. 
I it's think horrific. the thing is, it's like we fart more, and like I think that like you know on average, like we're happier and prouder about our farts, and we'll aim yeah, our farts perfect. at people and light our farts on fire. But <laughs> like, uh, put it in a jar, sell it to because, Patreon fans because they <laughs> let their stew that marinates inside yes, them. That's right. They hold that's, it. It must be. It. I would describe it as sense. festering. Would you guys agree? The white it the right word for it is festering. It's auntie fester. Yeah. And <laughs> their diets are healthier than ours, so they're making more. They're eating more greens, and which is making more gas, like a vegetarian. Yeah, part. the the dense oh, foliage God. causes yes. more stinkers. And and like they're we react, too much we react crazy to like when a girl plop fizzles out the front doodle. We think that's worse than a butt fart. We like we just we just react, but but really like there's no super stink in the in the queff hole, like unless queff. there's unless unless there's no, something. No, I, I think it's just, I think it's just that we don't care for vaginas. I yeah. think that's the the long and the short of it. If we wanted to hear your vagina make noise, we'd put a firecracker in it. If I wanted to see your vagina, I'd stop being gay. Yeah, <laughs> lock <laughs> lock that up with the Indian in the cupboard. <laughs> If there was a fart Olympics, I would take home the gold. All right, that's all. I believe that Magicus. <laughs> Magicus, do you really think you could out fart me? I've I've cleared out an entire floor of my house before. Yes, I think if I shitting could. your pants is cool, consider me <laughs> Miles Davis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Here's the thing about the vagina. <laughs> Sticky nose. The worst is leaning back to fart and it rolls up into another orifice. Then what? Wait, I was about to roll something out. Oh. Look, here's the thing about the vagina. Okay? Go. We're all talking about the vagina. It's troubling. It scares me. <laughs> troubling. Here's what I've no here's what I've noticed. I kind of only want to deal with it for like just a, a small amount of time. Under very specific circumstances. Very specific. And then the rest of it, the rest of the time, I'd rather not know anything. Pass. Yeah, it's just the more I know, the worse I feel. Yeah, it's like a reverse <laughs> NBC. Yeah. The more you know, bad. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I only want to deal with them when I'm playing ping pong against them. Of course. Ooh, you guys are wild. That's wild. That's wild. <laughs> that is, Why are you uh, so that wild? Some, uh, that is some. That is some weird, wild stuff. <laughs> that is a, a vagina. That is. A, those are. Those are some weird, wild things. The only. Look. The only aversion I have to vaginas is that they, they seem to put women through pain uh, once a week. Or a month or something. Uh, which is the they, one that's good not the thing vagina I know that does that. That's like the, the, the bloody, uterus. The bloodies, the bloodies, though, it comes out. Right. But that's I was like, going to bring that up yeah. because here's the thing. It's all part Look, of the same we've system. All heard of the, we've all heard of the Diva Cup, right? What? We've of course. Heard I haven't of heard of that. We've What's that? The, I've been sipping from one for uh, most of the night. What's a Diva ben? Cup? Ben, you know what a Diva Cup is, right, Ben? I don't think so. What are we? Magic kiss? Do you know what the uh, diva cup no, is? I'm, I'm with Billy here. I'm going to ask for the explanation, please. All right. Maybe pull it up on the thing. Okay. Maybe Google it and pull it I'll up. I'll pull it up. <laughs> okay. Are you. The diva cup. Is this like snipe hunting? Cup. No. Just I'm getting uh, the impression I should have lied and said yes. And by the way, I will oh. find that snipe one day. I oh, will what find the fuck? It. I've seen these things. Before. Just uh, just a heads up to are these uh, reservoirs? Heads up to new viewers. Yes. Heads up to new viewers. Uh, no one on this show has ever had sex before. <laughs> I, uh, I, dude, if if I needed to know what a diva cup was to have sex, it's like a a catcher yeah. device. Yeah, this doesn't come into play yeah. any at any moment from my end. I'm not like, ooh, do you have your diva cup? No, in? No, it's not, a menstrual. Th cup. What I said was not it's specific to, to the diva blood. cup. The way okay. we've been talking for the past half hour, it stands to reason that none of us have ever talked to a woman. We're <laughs> obviously incels. We obviously yeah, can't find our own giny holes, so we, we pretend we know what one is on a woman. 
Uh, yeah. The menstrual cup is a menstrual hygiene device which is inserted into the vagina during menstruation. Its purpose is to collect menstrual fluid. Menstrual cups are usually made of flexible medical grade silicone, latex, or a thermoplastic isomer. They're shaped like a bell with a stem or a ring. Yeah, I, I hear Sorry, did you, say, uh, did you say? Did you say? Did you say menstrual cups? Does uh, Does Justin Trudeau use them? Wow, <laughs> Scott. Three time PM, Justin Trudeau, 2015, 2019, 2021, undefeated, bitch. Wow, Scott. Did, 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 yeah. Justin Trudeau yeah, is the current reigning champion of the Minstrel Cup? Current reigning, defending, undisputed champion of the Damn. Minstrel Cup. And yeah. your prime minister. Now here's why I'm bringing this cup up. Yeah. It, it's just so troubling that it's out there. <laughs> and it's something I think about a lot. Really? Because Almost I definitely. asked once, how do you, how do you, how do you get it? How do you deploy it? I was I'll like, how do you, I was like, how do you deploy the cup? And they're like, oh, you fold it up and then you, you, and then you, you jam it in there like a coin in a slot machine. And then it, and then it, and, uh, and then it fills up. And, but yeah. I'm like, well, how do you take it out? And then the blood's oh, you, you not don't. everywhere. <laughs> and they're like, but they're like, you just know. You're like, they're like, you know how to put it in, you know how to put it out. It's very easy. I'm like, it's not. If it were easy, <laughs> I would know everything about it's so scary to me. And it makes sense. Would I want to keep spending money on tampons? No. I get myself a little cup. But I don't know how it works. And I don't know what's worse. That I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> or if I knew how, would that be worse? It would be worse. Uh, serious? It would be worse if you knew. That's Trust. what I think. You're, it, you're in the right place right now. Does it hang out? <laughs> like, what's it do? I it catches don't the blood. No, it's so scary. <laughs> I'm going to look up how does a diva cup work. D don't yeah. ask questions you don't want the answer to. And yeah. so, I've and seen then, diagrams of it. Like it's Don't right. invite the vampire into the house. <laughs> again, Especially I, again, if it's menstrual cup time. Takes it mm -hmm. back to my takes it back to my thesis that it's like Troubling. you only want to know you only want to know a little bit about it, and you only want to be around there for a little bit of time. Just like, the basis. So yeah, yeah the, the, the cup the cup goes up uh, like like the shot glass would have the bottom of the shot glass uh, pointed towards the exit of your JJ the jet okay. plane. So the cup pokes up against your uterine uh, sac, and the uteral sac does a steady drip into the cup. It catches it, and then you plop out the cup like a little fucking, uh, like it's a shot glass, and you tell the vampire that's waiting on your porch, here, have it to go, papa. I think but I've just ruined you know? the stereos. But how do you know? And look, I understand those basics. You but just it's like, know. But it's like, how do you know when it's full? Well, you I th I, th I think what happens is it creates a, a suction and it blocks it off, so it just goes back up into the uteral cavity, and you probably yeah, experience some tremendous just, pain. Once your entire vaginal cavity is just choked with blood, yeah, <laughs> yeah, then then you know it's time to that guy right out. Yeah, but then, but, then, but okay, removing the cup. <laughs> What that's what the, is that your whole day? Well, I think you're going to the bathtub. You go in the bathtub. Whole day. You go into the bathtub. You have to put like a little cork end on the other side of it, so you just pop the cap off and let it drain. It's not like a fucking sports bottle, Magicus. Maybe it should be. Why? That's too Maybe much going on inside the jujis. Be. I think you need two cups, and <laughs> I think it's it's like it's like it, the Temple of Doom with the. Bag of sand and the idol. Look, if you're a what heavy you flow like, ah! type of person, you're going to have to stick. If you're a heavy flow type of person, you got to stick to them outer realm pads. You can't even be do doing a tampon at that point. There's a, there's a reason people have heavy flows the for their wide set vaginas, and they have the full on uh, mattress taxi cab maxi pad up taxi in there. Cab maxi pad? The taxi cab maxi pad up in there. It just sits there and collects the fucking fare. It just collects the, the the blood fare, minute oh. by minute. Look, Billy, look, would you consider yourself a heavy bro? Let's be real. Yes. Everyone on this show are virgins. 
except for Magicus. He <laughs> gets pussy faster oh. than he can tap magic cards. That's true. Oh, Magicus you know avoids I, the wrath. I think that this person knows what they're talking about. I think we should listen to them. They, they this seem seems to, like a smart a good guy. I'll agree here. with them when we hit 80% of our goal. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I don't know. I I get that I get the advantages of the pad. I get it. I recently learned how tampons worked. And by the way, if you don't know, I'm going to tell you what I learned. <laughs> also, which how is old you, are you? Which this 30, is like a sleepover for boys where we just <laughs> fart and talk about how girls work all night. It's so good. You, apparently, like you aim it, you aim it at the opening. Mm hmm. And then you pull out a thing, and it shoots cotton like a party yeah. popper up your bagu. That's yes, if it it's does. got the advanced yes, applicator. Yeah. What does the basic applicator do? There's a little more no of pop. a smush pop. No you got pop, more you of a push. It. More of a push, less yeah. of a pop. Yeah. You gotta I'm just saying, do the work. I, I, I you learned about do these the things work. like five minutes ago, and I've already found a way to innovate them to be better. So okay, is that please. true, Magicus? Yes. Are you Magicus, that in tune with the woman's woman than body woman. and needs? <laughs> By the way, four more dollars, Magic Magicus takes another shot. Oh, shit. Remember, I'm just a big like, fan. Yeah, I'm a big fan 40s. of free bleeding. Like, get yourself a little beach towel, put it on the Ruin bed. Ruin your pants. I said a beach towel. Hang out with no pants on, on the beach towel, and just let it collect <laughs> crimson vows. <laughs> Look, here's what I've heard about the Diva Cup. Here's what I've heard about the Diva Cup. Uh, Magic, because I want to hear about this, but but real quick. So, oh, you know, right, a lot boss. of... So a lot of... Uh, in a lot of cultures, you know, they, they can't afford the pads and the tampons. Forget the uh, basic applicator. They, they can't afford them. So a lot of girls, they couldn't go to school when it was their time. So, But with these cups, they're really inexpensive to make. They're easy to ship overseas. They're reusable, and because of these cups, now girls can go to school, get a better education, make their lives and their families' lives better. This cup is apparently I like literally Magicus. changing now our culture the for the better. It's oh, changing fuck. the world for the better. But it's so creepy, right? It's just so creepy. Here's, what do you? I, what does it do? Look at this diagram. You, oh! This looks like I this looks like Cheerios. your. I love oh, ass fuck. Cheerios. This looks like when you're at the fucking water cooler and you the cups are the stupid little cone <laughs> cups. And you got to try and the balance Dixie it cups. to get a drink. Yeah, those little stupid Dixie cups. And you're like, fuck me. I, uh, Ast Asteris, I would argue that women shouldn't be allowed to go to school anyway. I know you'd argue that. Too. Okay, chat, here's your assignment. <laughs> I know you. Take I think only women should go to school. put it next to fucking Adam from Your Movie Sucks, like, you know, doing the fucking expression of the farting thing. <laughs> yeah, Adam reacts, reacting to the, the vaginal Dixie cups. Yeah. This uh, this would be his first experience with that, for sure. If it makes you happy. This looks like a Baphomet sacrifice. Someone's mentioning that it looks like a man hand, too. Uh, nah, woman hand. Uh, no. It could be a man hand, but I don't think it is. Nah, I think it's a mom no, hand. No, I've seen hands. It's a of mom all hand. Stars and stripes. That's and a that's, mom hand. That, that's a mom hand. Yeah, it's a mom hand. All right. So, magic is how would you improve this thing, this situation? You put a cork on the end of it so that oh, way you can okay, it. Okay, magic and then let it I shouldn't have asked. I mean, I mean like a right. plug, not a literal I, cork, right? I mean, like a plug, a, a stopper. Yeah, exactly. Not a literal cork, though. Like not like no, a wine some, cork. Some, some kind of stopper in the end of it, so you can just let it drain. Why? Oh, that seems like something that could get further so stuck is, up. So, Asterios, did you at like, first think he was saying they should just put a cork in their vagina? <laughs> I'm sorry. Hold on, though. He said they should put a cork, and we're talking about the this. Excuse me, for but if it has doing. if it has like a easily removable piece like that, yeah. that's small, it could get stuck up in there like further up in there, and that would be a problem, oh. right? Well, no, it, it's a, it's at the bottom of the cup. If you have any access to it, it but the, why not the, just pull the whole cup out? Why do you need a plug in it? Stuck. 
up the, there. The cup is true. the plug. You don't need That's like true. an extra little. Because it's more controlled. When so you're... you're not yanking out a cup full of blood at the end of the day. Yeah. The blood's coming, going somewhere anyway, though. But, if but it, it could just little... go out nicely in a controlled drip. No, no, yeah. no. Let me. Let I'm me with Magicus on this. Look, Chad, look. You need just to tell to magic... us who's I, is, is my idea good or not? Yes or just, no. Just, just to. What speak if you think to, it's a good to idea to... too? If you think it's a bad idea. Just we to just speak vote. to Magicus's point. If, if it there did was... have like a little, if it did have like a little nipple, then they could spell their name in the snow like us. Yes. See? If there See, was a way that only, only women could vote, like this would be best. Times more badass. You're just making my point for me. <laughs> no, I like that. I like it. You could have a little. He's come bite. around. <laughs> yeah. So, That's so maybe before friends. you judge next time, Asterios, maybe you should put I a cork should. in it. I, you know oh. what, I will put a cork in it next time. Mm -hmm. He's raising a good point. Is Magic is right judge. about the cork. <laughs> the pull is up. Is Magic is right about the cork? I'm going to hit no. <laughs> <laughs> Billy's just mad because I'm going to beat him in magic cards. That's uh, categorically wrong. <laughs> uh, I, I've got it sitting right here next to me. We'll fucking go. Come on. You so happy? Did you guys see the thing where Marjorie Taylor Greene used a meme and made a speech in Congress about a meme? I, that's my girl. I thought that was photoshopped. No. I genuinely thought that was fake no oh poor naive hysteria <laughs> because these policies are the most america last policies as a matter of fact they do nothing but put china first um taylor you can put up number two now so we'll go ahead Thank and address you, taylor. what these policies are that are so shocking and it's funny because she was saying china but that's not a symbol of china that's a symbol of ussr which doesn't even exist anymore oh man this to is me, cute. Yeah. And if, Classic if the hammer American, and sickle China. Yep. American people actually knew what these policies are, these globalist America last policies are. I believe they would be ringing every single phone up here, probably demanding that Congress go home because America is only safe when Congress is out of session. But unfortunately, Congress is in session. So let's tell the truth about what's happening. You see... This I never thought I'd see someone wearing leopard print on the floors of Congress. I like her. <laughs> this is a simple meme that you would find on the internet, but this meme is very a real. Simple the Green Ladies New and gentlemen, a simple meme. Look, if there's it's a anything simple I've meme. learned about memes on the internet, it's that they're always 100% true. Yes. Now, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, I'm just a simple country memester. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies Surprise. and gentlemen of the jury, I'm just a simple Floridian mentally ill woman who uh, up until 2017 was a CrossFit trainer Georgian, and then uh, went viral yelling the N-word on Facebook video and now I'm in Congress for some reason. This but uh, I think this meme is Florida fairly self-explanatory. Prize is serves China and China only. It's not China. You can go ahead and put number one up. It serves China and so China today, only. So talking about the but green... we're going to use the uh, USSR the fallen guy... communist logo. How much do you think the guy is getting paid? Oh, he's probably having the time of his life. He must be... He's yeah? Getting, he's getting paid in farts. Is he... <laughs> Then he is having the time of his free? life. She rips one right on top of his nose. Right, Sharding <laughs> Queen. Deal and the all-out war on the men I and women Joe who Biden. built this country, which is definitely happening every single day here in Congress. Democrats like want to say. Sure what's it say the behind Magicus's screen? What's was it? Chanistans? What is that? I own Chris uh, Chan Afghanistan's. Oh, Afghanistan's Chris lithium Chanistan. deposits. Turn the lights out on America. Yeah, so Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. No, you get in trouble, Billy. I don't really care. I'm not going to China, even if they own us. I'll be fucked, dude. If they if China ever owns America, I'm fucked. They were calling that debt, yeah. But uh, until then, we're sitting pretty. Yeah. I don't want to upset China because uh, I need them to stay where they're at about at now economically. 
You don't want to upset going, China because my, you've already Robin upset the vagina by putting corks in them. <laughs> True. You're a giny corker. That's weird, dude. <laughs> Did you ever notice how uh, in the original Masters of the Universe cartoon, Skeletor would insult his henchmen by calling them a boob? No, yeah. that's cute. We should chain yeah. them up before they come to. No, Harry, they... They're gone! But where? How? It's the sorceress, you boob! <laughs> nice. But, like, that was a, that was a thing to call you people boob? back in the day. We called people a boob when they were a fool. Yeah. You boob! I love and that. They called titties boobs because when you look at them, you turn into a fucking boob. You're like, Ugh. yeah. You just start ogling like a boob. You boob. Couple of boobs. Couple of bouncing bobbles. Couple of fucking A1 chesticles I want to lose my religion in. Is that too much to ask? Yeah. Uh, jumbo. They call, them, naturals. they call them boobs because when you look at them, you become like a boob. And they call them pussies. Because when you look at them, you get terrified. <laughs> the pussification of man. Troubling. Skeletor Very troubling. Really I find right them I troubling. highly disagree. When I stare into the abyss, the abyss stares back at me. And then shoots a ping pong ball at you. Bloop. <laughs> Bloop. Here's another video yeah, if get, where... If this had my cork invention, it could shoot something else back at him instead. True. Ah, oh, you... Magic, this is not a champagne party. Stop. <laughs> um, here's a video of a black woman going into a bubble tea shop and accusing the you Asian would. people of appropriating uh, black culture. I guess from booba to boba. Yeah, hey, she must be really? a BTS yeah, nice, fan. But I'm nice pretty, segue. I'm pretty sure uh, bubble ben, tea. You had me at black great. woman. This establishment is uh, not black owned, but using you're stealing black culture. Is this not black out. culture? Trap tea, the boba plug? No, you're the Asian Asian people stealing black black culture once again, once again. Okay, you'll be, so they're, 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 they're like that. Their their name the, the boba place is their name is trap tea, trap tea the boba plug. Is it like boba tea, uh, like an Asian thing? Yes, it is. is. Isn't, it, isn't it okay to steal black culture if you do it, like, <laughs> but they're very not. cringy, like? But that's not the. I mean, that's not the, like they're not though. Well, that's, that's definitely the, black culture. First of all, Trap yes. tea, the and boba second plug. of all, they're not even doing that's, that. That's that's black culture because it's drugs, guys. Drugs is black culture, guys. You can't take from drugs without taking from black What's culture. No. What's happening right Wait, now? Is boba tea drugs? I don't understand. The yeah. name is trap tea. The Damn. boba plug. Someone made a stereos leave, and it wasn't me. This is a banner day. <laughs> They're using an stereos type for the the trap tea. The boba plug. A disgusting, outdated. Guys, what the fuck are you type. talking about? The, do you not look, understand look, what really what, is technically correct? But thank he's putting you. it in the worst way. Thank yeah. you. I'm just gonna kind of wait. I was just saying out. it's it's crazy. I'm like <laughs> I don't know if I would do what he's doing She's right now. Stealing, this is wild. They're I'm stealing really from black it. culture I mean, because talk, black they're, culture they're, is drug okay. culture. Okay, okay. Uh, real quick, I will explain. Uh, <laughs> trap, trap tea, the boba plug. That's the name of the place. Okay. Yeah. The, the problem is the name. It's not the boba tea. It's that yeah. trap is a type of music that's popular in African American culture. But it's also it, this guy's uncle's last name because he's Vietnamese. Well, but but I I'm just gonna follow up with uh, the plug is a, if you look it up in Urban Dictionary, it's like Hook a up. common street vernacular for a, 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 someone who can get you drugs. And so you know, while this person may be named Trap, like yeah, they I. I kind of see the point a little bit where they're like, you're using kind of a, a an urban patois. Like, I don't know that I'd get upset about it and start videotaping and screaming at someone's now, face. What if, what if, this, what if they're the actually US named after, are, are, what if they're named after trans culture? Didn't we like fucking introduce like drugs into all the black communities in the first place? So like, if anything, yeah, but we didn't come up with the vernacular. The it's not that they're stealing. The, the CIA didn't come up with the term trap and the plug. That was that was dude. 
That's you're stealing from drug culture. Okay. How how about being late? Does that also factor in? It's not a and latte. It's a boba stop tea. The audio. What too. if? <laughs> what if this trap tea is because Billy it's a trans it. person? It's a trans person that has a a fat bounty hunter butt plug in their ass. Both though, you're not black owned. That could be trap tea, the boba either. plug. It's Thank okay. You for black culture. Thank you for no, I came here because I thought it was black owned. That's why I came here. So my friends, I'm supporting so, a black. So that's so, racist. I thought. I thought that this drug vernacular tea place was black owned, but but now that I'm here, I I really wish that the black community was stealing from the Asian community and not the other way around. I was willing to support when it was a black owned co community stealing from the Asians. Yeah, if it was a black owned bubble tea place, because of course uh, African Americans invented bubble tea. Yes. Uh, yes but, yeah, I was perfectly comfortable with that. But, but uh, now I'm going to make a Facebook. Video. Now that I know it's not us stealing from them, but it's them stealing. Stealing from us, I am angry. And uh, well, by stealing things from other cultures, they're appropriating white culture because we do that. Yeah, stealing is our also, thing. Isn't, yeah, isn't black-owned business an oxymoron? What's going on here? <laughs> Stereos, if you just want to log out of the owned. Skype call now. Not, this is not black-owned. Stereos, you want to weigh in? What's uh? <laughs> Oh, no, the next part in this was great, though. I Asian stealing, yeah. stealing, yeah. stealing yeah. black culture. So, Once yeah. again, so uh, second, you're a cool. Don't talk. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. Pardon? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Suddenly, someone's not looking so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to think this might be a Boba Fett themed tea place because I'm pretty sure Jabba the Hutt was back there holding back Slave Leia. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I'm Damn, Slave Leia at a black owned business? Did you or non black owned business? What'd she say? Yeah. Hold on, listen to what she calls this guy. Say, say what she called him, Ben. No, Just I'm not going to yell it. Uh -uh. Just uh, yell it, it's fine. Because you're a coon. Yeah, I heard that was earlier. She said that. Well, she said it again too. Yeah. Okay. Um, I thought she said something <laughs> she new. She said it again, went more forcefully. Yeah. Yeah. She thought she he didn't hear her the first time, so yeah. she had to make sure he got it. Yeah. Here's the thing: if you go into a business and you thought it was uh, black people stealing from Asian culture, and then you go in and you're mad, take your camera out, make a video, so we can talk about it on Drunken Peasants. Yes. Please, <laughs> please continue to do this fuck shit. We love it. <laughs> Uh, um, Scott, what was the name of that uh, Sikh guy who was running for prime minister? Jagmeet Singh. Okay. I, I have a video of him trying to do some kind of speech, and this dumb woman keeps getting in his face asking him when he's going to institute Sharia law. And, 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 he, and he, says, he has to explain that he's not Islamic? Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, basically. Uh here it is. Do we believe in celebrating diversity? Give it a round of applause for side diversity. He hands this. He handles this perfectly too. A round of applause for diversity. All right. So, it's so. <laughs> that's it. It's okay. So, what what this is? What this? Is, okay. Side note. How great would a TV show called Sharia Law and Order be? Oh, so good. I would watch the fuck out of that, actually. It is. We don't want to be. gavel at the end of the donk donk, it's like the sound of a beheading. Intimidated by hate. <laughs> Jesus we don't Christ. want hatred to ruin a positive event, right? Go ahead. We don't want hatred to ruin a positive event. So let's show people how we would treat someone with love. We welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you. We love you. We support you and we love you. We support you. We love you. We all here, everyone in this room. I love this. Everyone in this room loves you. We all support you. We believe in your rights. This is so, I love this. I want to vote for him. We all believe in your rights. This room is a room filled of people that are loving and that will support you. But this isn't the best way to do it. But it's okay. We're, we're this is more. the best way to do it. This but is we love maybe you. not handling so, this perfectly. <laughs> this is so good. This is how everybody should react to Karens and people who are publicly spasting. Be like, yo, yeah. we love you. You're showing your ass right now. And you know she's but we dumb. love you. 
if she lives in the if she lives in the Toronto area and doesn't know what a Sikh is and thinks they're a Muslim, she's dumb. This is Brampton. She. This uh, you know what? I'm gonna go on a limb and say she might be dumb. Yeah. yeah. Like, Did what? someone say Brampton? Brampton. My favorite <laughs> town. <laughs> Brampton. <laughs> Oh. Like, imagine how hard it is he has to try not to laugh right now as she's just confusing him with a Muslim. So, my friends, my friends, let's just say this is a little bit awkward, but it's okay. We're not intimidated by hatefulness. We're not intimidated. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No one is touching you, you mad bitch. It's okay. It's okay. We're not worried about this. This is okay. We're not worried about this. It's okay. We're not worried about this. My guy was about to go We're old country on her. Yes. Okay. He walked up yeah. like you. Wait. So let her let her just speak as much as she wants. It's okay. We have no problem with it. Let this idiot burn herself out. You have out. the microphone. You should just start doing your pitch right now as she's yelling because we can hear you clearly and we can't hear her. How great would it be if while she was flipping out, he just went in and cut like the coldest political promo? That'd be so good. My friends, voting for Sharia, like there's Sharia yeah. law to vote for. My friends, yeah. apparently the border to America needs a wall because this is not one of us. <laughs> <laughs> Who let this bitch in? <laughs> we just sort this situation out. Detroit. We'll be right back. I love you all. These are things that happen. It's okay. It's no this big is deal. The one, this is the one point in time gonna... where I would welcome a cringe rap. If he, <laughs> if he just starts busting on her, doing a diss yeah. track, I would I would actually enjoy it. No matter how bad it was, I would giggle like a fucking bastard. Intimidated. It's all good. Okay, maybe it is it is solved with already. All right. So listen, this is so incredible. This incredible amount of love. This Okay, we're good. It's okay. And, uh, she's dead. Oh, love wins free. again. <laughs> listen, Sharia you law know, took growing over. up as a brown-skinned, yeah, turban-bearded man, that I faced things like this before. It's not, a, it's not a problem. We can deal with it. There's going to be other obstacles that we're going to face, and we're going to face them with what? With love and courage. We can overcome anything. We're not. Yeah. I like this Barney the yeah. dinosaur shit. Let's go. Love yeah. and courage all the way. He's, uh, no, he he's good. If um if I could have just voted for anyone it would have been this party but i in in my writing i had to vote strategically against conservatives so i had to vote liberal which is trudeau's party that got in but i like the ndp the best which are the the party left of liberal see this is why Who, i love america regrettably, we only have two options and they're the same thing it makes it so much easier yes, voting <laughs> Yeah, and, and for, uh, regrettably, NDP, d who policy-wise is the best party, um, got they they did okay, but they got less seats than the uh, – they came fourth overall nationally, uh, third place being the Bloc Québécois, which is a part – which is a national party which only exists in Quebec and whose sole platform is to get Quebec to separate – from the rest of Canada, and it came third nationally. Wait, it gets you zero votes. Party? Yes, yeah. It's like if there was a Texas party, and it came up like a solid third. There's been at least two times in my life where they voted on it too. It just has never passed. Um, where yeah, where, where yeah. They there's been a couple on... re referendums, but uh, yeah, yeah. yeah it seems like uh, the rest of Canada is. Uh, less psyched about putting a weird hole in the middle of the country you yeah. fucking idiots <laughs> yeah. are they moving it's pam landers into the middle of the country exactly yeah we would all love quebec to leave the country but it's just such a stupid process that it's not worth it but it would be cool if there were no french people <laughs> at, at that point would you be able to stop putting up french signs on all your stupid posts 
That that's Justin Trudeau's dumbass dad. That's fucking Pierre Trudeau. That's what yeah, made all they, the uh, all the packaging in Canada bilingual. They made two Horseshit. languages the official language. So uh, any uh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> here's uh, here's a school board meeting with a crazy Karen freaking out. Bell and then Marge Stone. All right, well, I'm just thankful that y'all don't have the ability to the um, make a mask her. mandate. And tonight I was going to talk about the need for a second high school, but I was sidetracked by Can we just appreciate the boys. how covered the woman before was? She had a goddamn like a head cover, face cover, and then a full shield. And this woman walks yeah. up, doesn't even have her fucking tits properly secured. She don't go fuck. <laughs> Is this or, is this Marjorie Taylor Greene's stunt double? The idea she looks identical. <laughs> this is Brian Austin of, Taylor Greene. Idea of a Mexican is a Mexican is a Mexican. This Take her Dr. out back, she boys figured. Then hand on the, t- put it in her coin box, put it in her cornhole, grab a hold of that braid, rub that calico. You okay. can find that on page I'm voting thirty-nine for of the Did book I hear called rub that Darkness, calico? which you can uh-huh. find at Hudson Bend Middle That's School and Bee Cave Middle School. She's bitching about the books in a middle school library. All right. Not going to lie. I had to Google Cornhole. I bet she I doesn't have, have kids. In ah, my yard. But according to Wikipedia, Cornhole is a sexualist slang vulgarism for anus. The term came into the use in the 1910s of the United States. Its verb form to Cornhole, which came into usage in the 1930s, means to have anal sex. I do not want my children to learn yeah. about Why anal sex in middle school. Sex. I've never had anal sex. Thank I don't you. want to have anal sex. Trust me, I don't want my kids to have anal sex. sex. You old cunt. You probably have a dirty butthole anyways. Nobody wants to slosh around in there. Yeah. That's I want now. you to start focusing on education and not public Earth. health. Stone. <laughs> and not public health. What the hell does that story about the cornhole have to do with public health? She just wanted to see if she could get away with it. The only way I can rationalize all of this because there's so much of it is just everyone is joking and having a good time. That's the only way I can keep from killing myself every day. Is she trying to do like a George Carlin bit where she just tries to like say the like cornhole as many times as she can? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like uh, all of these people are doing bits, right? Just, just tell me they're doing bits. They, they can't be real. Like this can't be. There can't be this level of mental illness prevalent across the entire country. It can't. You know, be. I don't want it to be real. I, I actually, I hate to tell you this, but like, I'm pretty sure that the U.S. military has like a cutoff for like how smart you have to actually be in order to join the military. Because under a certain level, they actually consider you more of a hindrance than a help. Even if they were to break you down mentally and build you back up the way they wanted to, you couldn't yeah. be trusted to watch like a door for eight hours. And that's like ten yeah. percent of our population. So they, like they also the have a cap. Do they do don't want that people 10%. that are too smart. They don't want high exactly. IQ people either. Exactly. <laughs> um, they, high IQ people don't... aren't uh, signing up. <laughs> They're doing science. Oh my it's god! It's like just just the thought of like ten percent of people are like too fucking dumb to stand and watch a door for like eight hours a day. Yeah, and like, like that ten percent of people is thirty five million people. Yeah, what what do you do with that amount of your? That's population? a bummer. Do you know how hard They're it is for the the, the top ten percent of intelligence looking at all you the fucking average motherfuckers? Of the top thinking thinking, of thinking what you're doing is any better than staring at a door? It fucking baffles me yeah, as a I, I'm not certified genius that, I'm just that you fucking I'm cocksuckers run around acting like hours. your stupid fucking games you play, critiquing these renobs that can't even spell fucking butter beer, and you're out here talking shit about them you're a fucking door starer to me and there's somebody out there smarter than me that looks at me and thinks that little fucking dumbass is cute as shit that's the problem (laughs) yes there is that that sounds like a a very jf line of thinking to me (laughs) (sighs) just i don't know I, i i have nothing against people who just watch a door for eight hours but like if you can't be trusted to do that why is it that you get he's, to decide the future of our country? <laughs> he's going to fuck up this door thing. We, we we need a simpler job for him. We know yeah, he can't uh, watch a there, door. 
there there should be a uh, rigorous testing to be able to vote and to be able to have kids. There should be, yeah. The problem is <clears throat> they don't want smart people in this fucking country. They want now, people. There's a difference between saying smart people and people that are too dumb to be trusted with any responsibility. <laughs> with the door. Yeah. They, those are the people that fucking reproduce. That, the, that's a problem. That's not. That's a, a problem thing. for us, not for the people in charge. They want the dumb people running around. It creates confusion. They profiteer off that shit. Yeah, so I don't. I, you just you can't write off like shit like this as just being trolls or like not being real because like ten percent of people like are legitimately this dumb. So no, ev- everyone no, everyone is smart and funny, and they're and they're just doing a bit to to amuse me that's the uh, magicus it's the only way i can get through this okay so just (laughs) let me have it please i have to live in nightmare world and so do you (laughs) (laughs) i was actually somebody donate seven dollars so i can drink again please and yeah, whatever language it is that you're speaking, okay? This is America, and you get it right the first time. You get it right the first time. Get it right the first time. Get it right the first time, right the first time okay? <laughs> she sh- she should have got it right the first time. So they're in a... She's uh, doing a bit. They're in a, a, fun, a taco a place. Everyone's laughing. Somewhere. I... I saw tapatio on the table oh, and some it? plates with some uh, jalapenos, roasted jalapenos. Then probably, so she's up. like, whatever language you're speaking, like you can at least recognize Spanish when you hear it. Some tacos and burritos and enchiladas. When you say this is America and you do something so fundamentally American as walk through a fucking glass door. Yeah. I, I salute you. <clears throat> That's the glass ceiling that they talk about for women. It's a glass door instead of a ceiling. Yeah, the glass ceiling is actually vertical, which not a lot of people know, and uh, just women keep walking into it. Women are like, this is the glass ceiling. No, that's a door, honey. You got to push the that's fucker open. That's a door, open. dear. <laughs> Check and see if it says pull or push on it. Oh, <laughs> the patriarchy holding me back again. I'm kidding, guys. Women deserve. Oh, no. Women deserve everything. They're princesses, and I love them. <laughs> that, that doesn't sound like some of the things you've said about women before. Some of the things I've said about women to women uh, would make you wet in your eyes and them wet in their thighs. By women for women. Exactly. <laughs> the fubu of bitches. I've pissed, on, I've pissed on better women than this, and they smiled through the entire process. <laughs> Here's uh, a video Asterio sent me. Oh, God. Want to spice things up in the bedroom? Chili peppers will have you hot and heavy, and a squirt of OJ can increase blood flow to important organs. Like the spleen. Mm. This kind of sounds like Rick Rude's music that he used to watch. A little bit, yeah. That's what this is based on. Get a load of zinc to increase your libido. Avocados will give you the stamina to keep going for hours. That's Go a vegan. big promise. Your partner will thank you. No. They're ruining all this fruit for me. Who cares? I care. It's fucking fruit. Get a new one. If, if someone wants to finger fuck a goddamn squash in front of me, go do it. I don't care. Walk, Walk out. Walk out. I was so high. <laughs> Look, uh, the good folks at PETA have never steered me wrong when it comes to sex, so uh, I'm going to listen to them on this one. Yeah. <laughs> if PETA really wanted me to give up meat... And and dairy and, and if honey... If they really and, wanted me to do that, they wouldn't yeah. tell me that fruit makes sex better. They'd tell me that meat is for fucking, not for eating. Yeah. If well, apparently, they were, if, Billy's never been grapefruited. If Peter was just about, like, hey, stop eating the animals, start banging them, hmm, maybe I'd be more is likely. Is that not their platform? That was my is understanding. Is it? Shit. Magicus. 
Sip, you fucking oh. lush. <laughs> um, yeah. You're a sweet boy, Magicus. I, I have Drink a, to that. Uh, sometimes. It's, it's interesting because, like, what PETA, you know, obviously we've all seen a lot of PETA campaigns over the decades, and they're always like, oh, it's, salacious and shocking, and they're all, oh, yeah, sex, it's, sex, it's, sex. And what it's it is people is... For, people for the ethical treatment of Asians? Is that what it is? No, animals. Oh, 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 what's the difference? Anyway, Asterios, carry on. Asterios. Is he frozen? Anytime, Asterios. He's going to bed. Asterios, you're up. Ladies and gentlemen, Asterios Coconut. There was a character in the Hunger Games, and his name was PETA. And ironically enough, he was a baker. Go figure. Mm. He made Asterios. PETA bread. Where you think, like, Asterios is gone. He went to go. bed. Steve Hofstetter did like a really awesome takedown of PETA, like a, yeah, within the last couple of weeks. It was all, I mean, just amazing to watch. Is he back? No, he's gone to Asterisk? bed. He's done with this shit. How do you know? <laughs> what are you basically? He typed it in Venjet. He said, "I'm going oh, to wait, bed." Did he? <laughs> oh, fuck. Didn't didn't even get to say goodbye. I called dibs on You his said spot. goodbye in so many words that he had to fucking leave without <laughs> saying goodbye. I sort of did. <laughs> <clears throat> this has been a very saucy episode. Any one of us, <laughs> Asterios included, could get canceled for the shit we said tonight. I'd say mo we, we can all agree mostly Asterios, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was sort of the ringleader. I would like yeah. to blame Asterios and not me. There's a reason he's yeah. self-reported by going to sleep. If one, if one person sleep. was to go down, it would certainly be Asterios. <laughs> Poor guy. All he wanted to do was yeah. pick on a, a gay, furry Canadian. Yeah. Who? Oh, yeah. I thought you were, I thought you were talking about me. I'm like, wait a minute. I, I'm only most of those things. <laughs> Not you, Catman. The horse. Yeah, no, Adam, Adam's coming for Asterios now. I think we got uh, once Asterios crushes Egghead at uh, at Actual Mania. I think we've got his. Well, it's uh, Egghead and Kalo, so it's going to be a, a strange one. Yeah. It's tomorrow. Every match, yeah. we might as well go over it one more time since we got more people watching now. We're doing our Patreon private show tomorrow. Five bucks or above gets you in it, and we've set up four matches, all triple threats. Basically, the way this works, for those of you who haven't seen an actual mania, we watch videos of each person in the match, and the people vote on it. It's a triple threat. Triple threat. We got Elliot Page. All right. Elliot Page is going to go against Blair White and Demi Lovato in the, in the definitive Battle of the Sexes triple threat match. You always see Battle of Sexes between man versus woman, but that's not all there is anymore. It's got to be a triple threat. The tag team titles will be a triple threat with the champions Billy the Fridge and Onision going against Nick Fuentes, Catboy Cammy, and Hannibal and Monty in a three-way battle for dual action supremacy. Go get him, champ. I think you're allowed to use the word supremacy when it refers to wrestling. Asterios Kokonos, the current cringer weight the champion. Quitter. I know. Go him. head to head <laughs> with Kalo and Egghead in a triple threat match. That's right. All the matches tonight will be triple threat. That brings us from the cringer weight title to the world title. And the world title will have our reigning champion, Empress Gale, going toe to toe with Kevin Joseph King, the sweet cake killer, and King Cobra. This will be queens and kings, baby, for the world title. And we will see who the world heavyweight champion is at the end of Actual Mania Friday. Friday, September 24th. Patreon private show. That's right. Patreon purview private show. $5 or above. You will be able to see this. You will be able to see all the previous shows we've done over the years. And I'm telling you, it's worth it. Check that $5 bill in. If you chuck a 10 in, you can also watch my review of a classic Drunken Peasants episode that I wasn't a What's part that, of. 185? 185 with a guest appearance from Mercedes Carrera. It had Ben, TJ, and Scotty. There was no Paul. No, he wasn't in I have yet to review a classic episode with Paul yet. I'm looking forward to that. Coming up. 
Coming up this next week, uh, this next month, not this next week, this next month I'm doing a classic Halloween episode review because it's October, and that's going to be a, a fun one. The There's- LSD episode <laughs> of DP. It's going to be good. So if you're a $5 Ooh. patron, awesome. Enjoy tomorrow. If not, maybe become a $10 sure. patron so you get all the other over-the-top content as well. But tomorrow will be Actual Mania Triple Threat Throwdown. I was going to accuse the show of being too gimmicky with all triple threats, but all of the matches are actually really good. Yeah. <laughs> so I really can't say they the the world title match is great. Uh, the 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 gender questionable one, great tag team, great. I, like besides besides the Asterius one where he's just going to uh, crush Egghead and ruin his life further. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> which is an absolute slam dunk, and then we can move on to the main event of Asterios versus Adam. Uh, now, now we're talking. That's big money. Big that money right fun. there. So yeah, everybody uh, who is already a $5 patron, you're going to be able to watch this tomorrow. If you become a $5 patron, you'll be able to watch this tomorrow. You'll be able to watch all the uh, previous content. And if you become a $10 patron, you're going to get so much more uh, video content Go for the ten. Even if you're a five right now, bump it up to a ten. Yeah, I I would describe the ten dollar level as an embarrassment of riches. Yeah. Yes, so much content. I even shot a vlog the other day that'll be up there in a day or two. Look at that. Was your dick out? Yes. Hey. Nice. And what if they go twenty five? They get DP on demand, right? Uh yes, yes. Yeah, starting next month. Starting next month. Yeah. Um, I went to a bar in South Lake Union where you pour your own drinks and they charge by the ounce and you can pour. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, there's like a whole wall of taps there. So you can just pour yourself like a little taster if you want, or you can, they, they have a bunch of clean glasses that you just grab like the appropriate size and fill it up. It's in the Google building, uh, in South Lake Union, Mm. the one where the crane collapsed a couple Mm. years ago. Good times. Oh my god! Someone was just sitting there, stopped at a red light, and a fucking crane landed on their car and killed them. <laughs> the uh, the crane walked so that alcoholics could run. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if they got to sue Google for like like the families of the people, like of the victims of that. It would probably be the crane company. Yeah. It was a really windy day, and it unless just like, it was a Google crane, has Google, Google got into crane. the crane game? Maybe, probably. Honestly, I'm surprised that kind of thing doesn't happen more often because it's just it, the way that these buildings are constructed just like blows my mind. They're asking for it. I mean, look what they're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> they're asking for it. Oh my god! Uh, I wonder if Asterios will ever talk to me again. No, I do believe Asterios is part done. Asian. By the way, <laughs> I know. Oh, he's, okay. <laughs> he's he's a Greek. He's a Greek Chinese. I'm familiar with his heritage. Okay. Here's some anti-maskers at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles trying to get in and get some chicken and hey. waffles. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I understand that there's no mandate in Orange okay, County. Okay, and we have to reserve okay. the right. There's no mandate in Orange County. Doesn't work for she doesn't. I have a disability. Yeah. That doesn't work okay, for disability. You have a disability, but it's I all in your head. I do believe that she has a disability. I don't think it's mask related, but I right. think she has a disability. Yes. Can I see your phone, baby? Can I see your phone? Baby, can I see your phone, baby? Baby, can I see your phone, baby? They're stepping on our rights, baby. I just want to come in here and eat a thick grand slam, baby. It's 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 Roscoe's. Oh. Do they not serve grand slams at Roscoe's? No. They're not wearing masks. So you wouldn't let a veteran come in here because he can't wear masks? Absolutely not, because it is. Do you know? It's against our safety and health guidelines. No, it's not. So no, it's not. Bullshit. That's absolutely oh bullshit. Under the 1964 Civil Rights Act. Oh, my God. Oh, stop quoting shit. Under the Civil Rights Act. I love how you're telling somebody wearing a Juneteenth shirt quoting the Civil Rights Act. That's just cute. <laughs> that is fun. You know what? See, again, oh, more evidence. Oh, 
that everyone is just smart and funny and we're just doing a bit and having a good time trying to get through this pandemic. It's, it's weird. We all how get much... it. We all know the right thing to do, but we're all just having a bit of fun and making edgy jokes. That That's what's going on. People, there's no way that people are actually this fucking stupid. It's weird it how much be, effort. I'll kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird how much effort they go through in comparison to just putting on a mask they'll go through this crazy amount of effort and be willing to have the cops called on them and everything just to not have to wear it don't touch me don't touch me don't touch me don't touch me. Look at the sign. I'm taking it away. Can I get a business card? Go Google the goddamn restaurant, dude. Look at the street address. Google the damn restaurant. It's in Google. You need a business card. You cannot come in our area. You cannot come in our area. Do not walk up on me. You just touch me. You just touch me. You're trespassing. Leave. You just touch me. Fauci lied. Fauci lied. Fauci lied. I like when I was checking them with us. But Fauci had to lie. Just fucking door dash it next time. Like, it's that easy. Yeah. You don't want to wear a mask. Call in to go. To they'll drop your they'll plop and drop your food on the fucking garbage can outside where you deserve to eat. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you, and then then she she shuts the camera off and then puts the puts the phone in her pocket, puts her mask on. So yeah, I I'm, I'm just kidding, guys. I I, I know. I know. <laughs> I, was just playing. I was just chicken and waffles and everything's like, "Don't shake your head at me, Ben. I need this." <laughs> oh, it remember goes a deeper. Of years ago, like Oh these, no. It goes These deeper here. People were arguing like, oh, you can't force me to bake a cake for like a fucking gay wedding or whatever. But now it's like, oh, well, when that when this private business wants me to wear a mask for 30 seconds, like that's the end of my. Yeah, all you got to do is wear it until you sit down and then you can take it off again. It's stupid. Why is this only people right die from wearing masks? And in that's their face. Oh, uh, yeah, it, it's like they're it's like they're wildly inconsistent. With their oh, own no. belief. That's yeah. Fauci's own research. It doesn't matter. You guys are discriminating against You just hate me. You guys are discriminating against me. You just hate me. Instagram, Listen to what she says here. This is next level. Bye. You will be sued. 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 Bye. I have PTSD. I have PTSD. And you're discriminating against me. <laughs> she goes as a black person. You should be ashamed. As a black person, you should be ashamed. Have a wonderful day, guys. Sixty years ago, you couldn't drink from the same water fountain as me, and now you're discriminating oh against me. <laughs> Sixty years puts- ago, you couldn't even hold my fucking umbrella, and now you're telling me I can't come in here without a fucking mask. My family wore hoods. We wore hoods. <laughs> she could have just worn her hood. Nope, they're trolling. This is just a troll. They're all fucking. Just, ah, remember when guys. the fucking everyone's laughing. Everyone's friends. We're all good. Remember when no, those no, people no. went to Walmart no. wearing the KKK hoods during the okay. mask epidemic? <laughs> Another good bit. Oh, Do you feel good? She uploaded this onto the good? internet thinking she would look good in it. Feels good. Yeah. Remember when we got you with the fire hoses and the dogs? Oh, that was a good bit, wasn't it? See this shit. It was a bit. We know people see this shit. <laughs> Do you feel good when they call you cum tum tattlem? Do you feel good? <laughs> Just fucking nuke this planet, please. <laughs> There's a police officer that is quitting because he doesn't want to get a shot. It is the personal choice impacting personnel. This is happening in Washington State, too, but this is out of California. Across the Bay Area. Get a Does vaccine. she have the mouth of a ventriloquist dummy? Yes. Get an exemption. Okay. 
or potentially lose so your job. So every time the Kardashians get a new fucking lip injection, they have to take it from somewhere. Line for San Jose City employees I to show so. proof they of a COVID vaccination is it out of her mouth and put it into just Kim's 10 days vaginal away. Walls. Tonight, though, there's concern that that could lead to a the wave of resignations out. by the end of this month. There's a bunch of firefighters in the Seattle area that are getting fired essentially and a lot of them are trying to do this religious exemption but they're not getting more it. like fired fighters there should be them. there should be no religious exemption for it religious exemption is the worst reason not to get it their medical exemption yeah. sure but religious like you can make up any religion and say like my there personal be religion religious fucking exemptions for anything because it's true. religion is an idea like taxes and we shouldn't be fucking protecting ideas under the law huh. Yeah. NBC Barry's Mariam Favreau talked to a reserve police officer who says that mandate has him resigning. Dave Gutierrez is not like vaccinated, but he him. told me he was perfectly happy to submit weekly negative COVID tests to keep his job as a reserve officer. Can't they do and weekly negative tests here in Washington? Nope, they changed it. Oh. They changed it, and, like, uh, the thing about firefighters is that they don't just fight fires. They're, like, EMS workers. They have normally, like, an ambulance in every firehouse, too. What are you about to say, Scott? They, they don't just fight fires. They also start fires to keep themselves in business. It's like oh. a perpetual motion I, mission. I think you're thinking of Fahrenheit 451. Yeah. I was. Now he <laughs> says the city's new mandate has changed all that, and he's quit. And he's worried other officers will do the same. Dave Gutierrez worked his last shift as a San Jose Reserve officer Saturday. He says he resigned yesterday because of San Jose's vaccine mandate. To me, it's, you know, my faith. They oh, if, if they say it's my faith, they're dumb. And they, they're not smart enough <laughs> to make their own decisions. My faith, my faith. They, yeah, they forgot to think of a better excuse. I'm like, let's go with this one. Don't they have respirators? Yeah. Can't he just fucking wear a respirator all the time? It's a state mandate that all state employees have to be vaccinated. Oh, yeah, it's not a mask thing. No. It's a vax thing. Yeah. My belief hey, is in... it is the reason that so many religious people are against it, is it because it's called a mandate and they think that's gay <laughs> no, they're convinced that vaccinations are the mark of the beast a and lot of them mm, say that which is dumb it's the mark of their part of bro chips i mean crush. if the mark of the beast shit is in the bible and it's been in the bible for over a thousand years then isn't it supposed to happen isn't it what god wants to happen anyway yeah it's how is yeah, it a bad thing it's what we're all it's what we're all going for right what i it's know the goal my and what I want to put into it. I know my body. So I have my faith. Choices is not I know what I want to put in your body too, friend. Today, Dave sent oh this letter my. to the city manager expressing his concerns that starting September 30th, all employees are required to show proof of vaccination or get a medical or religious exemption. Employees that don't face disciplinary action, including yeah. termination. There shouldn't be religious exemptions. I don't care about no, your religion. I don't at all. This is what I care about. I care about you guys bending the fucking knee and submitting to the government that you help fucking withhold for 50 fucking years until it's finally inconvenient to you. You were bootlicking all the way until they changed the flavor of the fucking boot. And now you're a cry baby. Get out of here. Fuck off. I'm I think sorry. there should be no religious exemptions except for <laughs> Islam because it's the scariest religion. Ooh, <laughs> I think that you should you should should be able to get a religious exemption if you can prove you know how to draw Muhammad. <laughs> oh so like, you know what? we've done nothing wrong. You guys, that's a good. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Agree on that. <laughs> that. Okay. okay. So why would you discipline me? I'm After kidding, guys. Years with SJPD, <laughs> Dave retired in 2019 and returned as a reserve officer. He says he would have stayed on if he could have continued to test for the virus weekly, but when the city took away the choice, he chose to quit instead of applying for an exemption. He fears more full-time officers may do the same. We're already under staff with officers you can't afford to lose officers so far more than 200 city employees uh, have requested yeah, exactly i'm sorry i'm sir, an like, up Good. i'm sorry if the officer's not doing their job right then it would be better for them not to be there than to be doing it wrong so i am an upstanding decorated civil servant i have only killed 
two unarmed black teens this calendar year. And to lose me is going to be a detriment to this department. It's true. That is below the average. Way below. Most of them for religious reasons. The city says it's trying to protect employees. We are currently working with our police and fire unions and we'll continue to take into account some of their proposals. Is that the whole It's kind of like the people who are against the citizens. It's kind of like the people like, who are against uh, birth control and abortion. Like they're they're yeah. against the solution to the virus, but then complain about how all these restrictions come around because of the virus. Yeah. Uh, this, this is an interesting point. Are they defunding themselves? Like this could actually kind of. be the solution to all our problems. <laughs> Doing this. Is yeah, we've actually found work. a way to do like a stop hitting yourself with the police. <laughs> Workforce safe. And we know that the COVID vaccine remains the number one um safety net against COVID and its variants. Dave says his entire career has been about public safety. Now it's a public safety mandate that has prompted him to hang up his uniform. Poor guy. In San Jose. Here's, uh, here's one that's local William to here. Cleary and his wife, Shara Ray, say they're unvaccinated and don't plan to get the shots. He's a firefighter in the Seattle area. She works at a major hospital, and both could lose their jobs after October. Scott went mute. You're muted. Did you mute Scott? No. You're, you're correct. Uh, anyway, I'm kind of on their side because uh, their daughter here actually got all of her shots and look what it did to her. So I understand them being anti-vaxxers. October 18th, Washington's deadline for many first responders, medical workers and state employees to get vaccinated. Where I work, uh, we are possibly looking at losing up to 100, 150 people. Cleary's wife sought a medical exemption because she's pregnant and there are complications. But according to court documents, it was denied. William just <clears throat> filed a religious exemption with his employer, who he's not naming. He's a firefighter and a Catholic. I don't think uh, it goes against Catholic doctrine to get a vaccine. You can't be both of those things. You can't be a firfirefighter and a Catholic. Yeah, get what out is of here. he? Some sort Choose of a lane, overachiever? William. For me, yeah. it's a matter of conscience. And so that's basically what I focused on on mine was my my conscience. And if you listen to your conscience, it's essentially listening to the word of God. Your then, conscience is the voice. Do you of your think head he can spell conscience? Did he just means. say listening to your conscience is the equivalent of listening to the word of God? Yes. So like anything his brain says to him in his mind. Yeah. Is basically God because he's been indoctrinated. Say, isn't that dangerous? Th well, isn't that just sort of admitting that religion exists in your head? Yeah, it's all in my okay. head. I think about roughly six hundred others over are joining again. a lawsuit challenging Governor Inslee's vaccine mandate, arguing he overstepped his authority. Those are decisions that need to be made by the legislature in accordance with our state's constitution, which is the supreme law. This is the lawyer on the opposing of side. Our land. The governor's this office responded. Cool. Did I mean, he have a tough a enough? Picture. Did he have a tough enough picture in the background? Oh, it was boxing. I don't know like if boxing. it was tough enough. I think Earlier it was boxing. The earlier version of the lawsuit said, "Quote: <laughs> These requirements are legal, and we look forward to responding in court. Where to date, no challenge to the governor's use of his emergency powers has been successful. His use of this authority is appropriate given the extraordinary circumstances of this pandemic. It is not unreasonable to ask public servants to protect the public from being infected with COVID." The Department Is of Health it really says it's extraordinary, though, because we've had pandemics before and we have laws that like say that, yeah, we can fucking enforce measures like this. So how how out of the norm is it like it's already happened multiple times and we've already created a system to fucking handle things like this? Why can't we just enforce those rules? Uh, because there's social media now. That's the oh, only difference. Okay. It's the only fucking difference. No, you're right. I'm sorry. I take that all back. <laughs> Here's more people are getting vaccinated, in part because of the state's mandate. Rates were down, um, vaccination rates in, in, in July, and we have seen a 20 to 30 percent increase um, since then. So obviously, Is she really signaling with this green screen graphic behind her, though. What are you, factors, could you just chill? Could you put like a freaking cat tower or something behind you? Make it look like you live in a mansion or something? Why well, you got to use this damn web screen background for Vaccinate Washington? You're really pushing it. Like I would also feel more comfortable with a cat tower. 
You can tell. You can tell this guy's face and her face mixed together to make that baby. Like his face is all squinchy, squinchy, and it makes him look like a like a, a tough man. And then her face is all soft and feminine. And the daughter gets both of them and looks like she's perpetually sniffing farts. Feel bad. Yeah, for she her. got the, somehow got the worst of both worlds. Feel uh, bad he looks for like her. Ryan Phillippe's dad. It, oh my God! Why would you wish that on somebody? Tiffs want a judge to overturn the mandate, but they have less than four She'll weeks left to argue cute. Our parents are case. adorable looking people. This latest version it's just hard of the when you're a baby to have both faces of your very profound looking parents. Because your face is fighting faces. with itself to pick which pretty you're going to yeah. grow into. A face divided marshal. against itself cannot stand. Yeah, that baby girl wants a mask mandate. Among just, those just until she's like government. seven or eight, Obviously, gets her we've face. read a lot about this. You get into She'll the medical it, exemptions, which don't parents. happen very often. Then you've got a lot of people talking about seeking she's religious exemptions, but not a lot of churches have come out against the vaccine. So then what becomes the basis for it? Right. We've been getting a lot of questions about this from viewers. Yeah, they're they're using their religion as a reason, where yeah, as their but there's official, no actual like yeah, that, religious that basis before. for it. Yeah, their church hasn't officially spoken out against it. Like if you're there's there's nothing in Catholic doctrine against vaccines. Uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, that's one that that is against vaccines, as far as I know. Look, um, man, I yeah. uh, I'm a I was raised Catholic. I know for a fact my church is against the idea of protection. So I'm not going to Sexual, go. Sexual, yeah. I'm not going to get any sort of protection because God told me to walk into every scenario, b- raw doggy. Okay, Ben. I'm raw dogging. Unprepared, unprepared and unprotected. I'm raw dogging COVID, sure. okay? Because I'm a Catholic. Concerned about well, it. More people what? have died from COVID than have died from the fucking Spanish flu, and that's when we instituted things like only in America. And yeah, worldwide. It was only way in America. More. Worldwide, it's much worse. You have a very American perspective <laughs> on this flu. You're Americentric. Disgusting. An explanation is that the religion section of the Federal Civil Rights Act of 1964 makes some accommodations. It states that... Oh, this is the thing that... uh, What's-her-face in the Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles was citing, the Civil Rights Act of Beliefs that are new, uncommon, not part of a formal church. Religion includes all the familiar organized churches, but also beliefs that are not part of a formal church. The act states that an employee's belief can be religious... Even if only a few or perhaps no other people adhere to oh it. Oh my the God, problem. what a stupid loophole. Well, yeah. many I can't one wait. Man religion. My, religion, my religion, for one, is awesome because I believe in myself. All right, I'm the higher power. So anything I say goes, fuck you. We have a precedent, 1964, put it into place. You can't tell me I'm mm-hmm. wrong. More people believe in me than fucking believe in some of your stupid beliefs. If you tell me I'm wrong, you're a racist. Thank yeah, you. Really, didn't you set up a system where only like 42 other people are allowed to be part of your religion? Because Gotta the- throw it back to our alma mater. Must, <laughs> must see our alma mater. They're running into <laughs> is that once they file an exemption, their employer can accept that, oh. but then they argue they cannot make accommodations for the employee to keep working there, like daily testing. Mm. Gotcha. Billy pledging <laughs> Delta Fart. Okay. Ted, thanks. I can't believe I'm putting this thing back in my face this quick. Yeah. It's rich, I was dude. Say, you're, you're absolutely getting pink eye. <sighs> it's got a hint of marinara to it. <laughs> oh, an Italian job. Yeah. Woo. Gross. Woo. It's stuck and in my I'm, teeth. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's stuck in my teeth. Manny Pacquiao is running for the president of uh, the Philippines. Good. Which is crazy because he's Mexican. Pacquiao says he will run for no, the presidency not. of the Philippines <laughs> next year. <laughs> we sure are for Manuel. To rise to the challenge of leadership. More liquor if you have Pacquiao more leads a faction in the ruling PDP Laban party. On is Sunday, there any way he, he loses this? No, uh, I don't think. Is he running against Duarte? Uh, I don't know. I mean, he's fam- he has been in politics in the Philippines before, just not at this level. Um, yeah the nomination of his political allies and railed against corruption in government and President Rodrigo Duterte's cozy relationship with China. Duterte. We need progress. We need to win against poverty. We need government to serve our people with integrity, compassion and transparency. 
The move comes days after a rival faction nominated Duterte's longtime aide, Senator Christopher Goh, as its presidential candidate, which he declined. That faction also nominated Duterte for vice president, a move huh? that critics called they a wanna cynical... They're going to keep him around just as vice president? ...ploy That's by funny. Duterte to retain power. This is the guy that... Yeah, here he is right here, the current president of the Philippines. He, like, in his spare time, goes around and shoots drug dealers. He's made it legal <laughs> yeah. for, he's, like, vigilante killings cool. of drug dealers. I am hopeful that this will allow me to so continue serving... The Filipino yeah. people. It's President there. Batman. How Batman do you vote against President people. Batman? <laughs> they lead the entire nation towards greater progress. Pacquiao's faction has not expressed support for Duterte's vice presidential bid. Duterte is prohibited by the Constitution from running for a second six year term as president. Pacquiao wants So to he can't Alan. run again? Pacquiao's going to make him vice president? Well, he's running for vice president separately, and Pacquiao has not endorsed Pacquiao him. Pacquiao has said more than 10 billion pesos in aid intended for poor families during the global health crisis is unaccounted for. That's around Oops. $200 million. Pacquiao's anti-corruption sure campaign also right comes hands. as the Senate opened an investigation yeah. into alleged overpricing of medical supplies and equipment purchased under the government's pandemic response program. Duterte has challenged Pacquiao to name corrupt government. Should, he should challenge him to a boxing match. And offices. Yeah, I'll fucking fight you. Pacquiao is one of the greatest boxers of all time. And, the and he, he lost his last boxing match. I think he's retiring, so it makes sense he's doing this next. Um, Remember when the the biggest boxing match in the world was Mayweather versus Pacquiao, and they were building to it, building to it, building to it, building to it. And then in, like, Pacquiao's warm-up fight for that, uh, there was a terrible judge's call, and he took his first loss, so it wasn't these two undefeated guys fighting each right. other. That judge should uh, should uh, take a hike. And is, Pacquiao... Uh, my uh, take on it. Pacquiao was injured during that fight, too, but they didn't tell anybody. The, the yeah. Mayweather one. Mm -hmm. well, Mike Tyson had syphilis the night he bit Only off Vander Holyfield's ear. And that just helps you. Tyson That's like broke his back. Drug. It was spinal. Eight different divisions. He had spinal but despite syphilis. His popularity, he trails front runners in opinion polls. They have been consistently topped by Sara Duterte Carpio. Yeah. Here's uh. Reverend Veritas says we keep getting pink eye because Billy won't stop farting into the goddamn mics. It's a price we pay right. here at Drunken Peasants Podcast. He's turning the frogs now gay. Now. Oh, Bill, you are just, you are playing with fucking fire. <laughs> you are asking for it. My You're eyes, going to a Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles with no mask. My eyes burn. So what you need to do is you need to fart into your hand and then rub it in your eyes immediately. Dude, I got an immunity. <laughs> He's got a religious exception. I, got a a religious <laughs> I have a religious <laughs> exemption to pink eye, don't you know? <laughs> His pores are too small. Yeah. Just like Trump's or Bob. Oh, that's right. I lay up at night, I roll dingleberries out of my own asshole, and then apply them to my eyes like chapstick. <laughs> let's, uh, let's check out the stream labs and then we'll move on. Double magic kiss all the way. Yeah, I'll go down. Two of you is too many. Uh, Mr. Captain Snacks said, I've told Ben he's a sweet boy. I've told Billy he's a very sweet boy. I've told the Stereos of Scott I thought they were sweet boys. Today, I add Magicus. Ooh, you're on Magicus, the you are day. also a sweet boy in my eyes. Thank you, Mr. Captain Snacks. Sea Dog gave that big much. love. Flame Lives gave that big love. Fix All gave that 666 for the drink. Flame Lives gave more big love. Coop Car gave the biggest love. Baby, cheese said, Asteros and Scott, you're probably my favorite guest alongside Lacey Green. He's love gone. You. you rock too, Lord Magic Kid. You know what? Asteros is gone, so I'm going to take all of the love for both of us. And hey. even that Lacey Green stuff, too. Hey. That's, all, that's all for Daddy now. You can't have the Magic Kid part. Hey. That one I'm keeping. No, you can you can keep yours. I'm hey. taking the rest. Stone Yeti, all the scraps. Stone boy said, "I need the link to Doctor Fauci, American Nightmare." 
Damn. Trash boat. Hey, oh, hey, a steer was could link you that. Oh, wait. I, I did put it in the chat earlier, so it should oh, be. Oh, what a gentleman. Garcia gave big love, and that is a, basically all the tootie booties we got on the cute tip uh, on my list. So if you want to send more donos, we'll read them, do stuff uh, in front of us for cash. 550, I'll drink again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Another 50 fat Louis and magic is drinks I'm, I'm feeling more. it, guys. So, like, you keep donating, I might die. <laughs> what if the next four or five episodes, Ben and I have pink eye? <laughs> <Like>, <laughs> That would suck. Very huh? funny. <laughs> that would suck. Here is, uh, uh, I guess, a protest. Uh, it says Nicki Minaj tweet sparks local vaccine protest. You guys will be interested Very to see funny. who's leading this Very protest. Who? Oh, oh. Nicki Minaj, sir. I'm not born. Nicki Minaj, sir. I'm not born. That protest happening today in front of the CDC, the group speaking out against Dr. Anthony Fauci and the COVID-19 vaccine, all because of rapper Nicki Minaj. This all comes from some tweets that she posted on Twitter. Twitter, one of them Twitter. on your Twitter. screen now. In it, she claims you had to be vaccinated to attend the Met Gala on Sunday, but she won't get the shot until she's done enough research. CBS 46's Tori Cooper explains how the CDC is responding to the artist. Right now, I'm standing right between security guards and protesters crossing the street right now who say they felt called to come out here following Nicki Minaj's tweets on Twitter. They say that she has allowed them to feel that they can question the effectiveness about the vaccine and she's not sharing misinformation. However, experts I spoke to say they make You don't need to do any fucking research here. Here's the only important statistic that matters. 95 to 99.9 percent of all the people in the fucking ICU right now are unvaccinated so um get fucking vaccinated that's it that, it's that simple no gazi kozo doesn't agree go ahead what brings you here we are here because cdc has been lying to us for so long Nicki minaj fans in atlanta say they trust her medical advice about the covid 19 vaccine Nicki, the queen of rock Stand up. <laughs> <Of rock? laughs> Look, guy, like N- Nikki with her tweets was doing a bit. These guys are all doing it too. We're all just making some fun content. Then the cameras go off. And then we all shake hands and we're like, "Yeah, of course that's not true. We're just doing a joke. Everyone's K-fabe. having fun." Kayfabe. Right? Okay. Yeah, I love Nikki Minaj. I think she's great. It was a uh, th- so if I recall her tweet. In, in addition to what they showed, the one they showed was actually much more reasonable. The the one that I know was. Uh, her cousin got vaccinated his and balls. got an STD as a result of it, and now his balls are swollen. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> yeah. the Trinidadian uh, health officials searched for a good day and a half at all their expenses on deck to see if they could find one piece of evidence to back that up, and they couldn't. They wasted a lot of time looking for it because of Nicki Minaj's claim. Nikki, multiple platinum plaques. Yes. Stood up. That's fair. Said, if you have multiple platinum plaques, anything you say is gospel. Vaccine. And we should all question this vaccine. Fans even showed up to the Center for Disease Control headquarters on Wednesday in Durrett Hills to show support for the platinum rapper's latest tweets. This one is for the. All right. This one is for the anti vaxxers. The cop in the face and the bastard bastards. ...to the vaccine and his private part. Oh, yeah, here it is right here. My cousin... His private part. My cousin in Trinidad won't get the vaccine because his friend got it and became impotent. His testicles became swollen. His his friend was weeks away from getting married. (laughs) Now the girl caught off the wedding. So just pray on it and make sure you're comfortable with your decision. Not bully. That's even I got that stupid face. What it was 100% the vaccine and not infidelity. I promise you. Whoa, well done. whoa. Yeah. he was so getting CBS married, Magicus. Don't you understand? Fact check those fidelity claims. and marriage First, go hand in hand. In that country. On, on no one's ever fucked someone with a disease right before they got married. Be yeah. Yeah. What are you yeah. talking about? Yesterday, we're running down this false claim. Then we went straight to the CDC itself. We know that COVID vaccines are um, are safe and effective. Yeah, yeah, I'll see more. Fifty uh, percent. <laughs> She lied to me. She lied to me. Nikki told the truth to me. The CDC didn't. <laughs> Nikki told the truth to me. Nikki told the truth to me. Nikki told the truth to me. Oh, oh God, that hurt. I think I just Vaccine lost Vaccine lied to me. I remember there's the one video that Gazi made where his face is like painted like the Joker and it's all dark and he's all like, ah. 
Yeah. Do you think Gazi's a throat goat and sucks the best cock yes. in his city? Yeah. Hurts saying follow I, your doctor. I think he's the TG. Doctor's he's advice. The TJ. And with Wait, a reach of more than 22 million followers, Joker from us. How could he? Followers, boom, celebrities boom, boom, like boom, Nikki boom, 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 have a responsibility to the public. Throughout this pandemic, we have uh, urged platforms, small and big, to take care in what they are conveying around uh, COVID nineteen vaccines. Um, because we know that information can be impactful on people's behavior. But the rapper also tweeted, she will, quote, sure be getting vaccinated because she has to go on tour, end quote. Did you see this tweet or not? I've seen all of Nikki's tweets. What we are advocating. I say all of Nikki's tweets. Good answer. I sit Good and I answer. wait for her Twitter to refresh every day. I hit refresh every goddamn day. I read her tweets two to four times uh, in a row before I go and put them on a timer to retweet to me six hours from the original point they were tweeted. Who are y'all? <laughs> also, I'm already vaccinated, but I, I need I, attention. Yeah. I do the same thing with the drunken peasants Twitter, and so should you. Definitely follow them. So yeah. Uhuru, there's nothing wrong with that. We'll take Uhuru, advice from trusted uh, healthcare professionals. And so if somebody doesn't have that background, no, we don't recommend listening to them. Protesters that have been out here are saying they want the files from the CDC. They're holding signs that say. I like how they were walking and then they stopped right there, right where the camera was. The camera stands with Nicki Minaj. It's clear where they stand tonight. We'll continue to follow any new developments outside here at the CDC. Reporting indicator, I'm Tori Cooper, CBS 46 News. Black Hammer? And you can see Yeah, that's what they call themselves. The Black Hammer. Man. That was my nickname in college. Makes me think of Lexington Steel. Yeah. Because oh. of his big cock. Yeah. Oh. He was. Uh, he, I get it. He was originally because uh, Howard Stern was going to have Benji Bronk get publicly banged, uh, and they were going to have Lexington Lexington Steel do it. He was going to fuck Benji. Benji was going to get like publicly banged if he like lost like how he got fingered. The, yeah. the next thing was like they they were, he was going to get. It never happened, obviously, but yeah. Sad. The only. The only thing of value in this entire fucking clip we just watched is that it tells you it was 74 degrees in Alpharetta when, when this happened. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> That's only valuable to people who plan sure. on going outside in Alpharetta. I didn't say it was very valuable. Here's uh, just just in case anyone didn't remember the Joker vid. Here's a little bit of it. Black uh, who y'all? He's so unintimidating. It's funny to watch him be try to be intimidating. Even with the sledgehammer, he's not intimidating. I feel like That's halfway through cool. a blowjob from Ghazi, he's going to tie his fucking braids back so they don't get in the way of his slurping. You know what I mean? Yeah. Throat goat. That's throat goat material right there. You realize you got to pull them. If now, if Godzi pulled them braids back before the blowjob, then I would know Godzi was the throat goat. That sometimes, means he loves you. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to start off forgetting to pull it back, realize you made a mistake, pull back off, tie him back. But if Godzi, of the moment, if he just breaks out pulling them braids back, you know you're about to get the super slurp from Godzi. Cogs out, throat goat. Huh? Yes, y'all. I walk like I got a fruitcake for Christmas stored in my anus. Comes out once a year. Hello, Antifa. Delicious. <laughs> it's me, Ghazi, the commander in chief of the Black Hammer Organization. Land back. Land back. Land back. <laughs> for the all juggalo rendition of Nutcracker Sweet. I heard you had some Pretty not cool. so nice things to say about me. I heard you had some nice things to say. About my hammers. Mm. Did Godzi just turn mm. around backwards? Have Godzi's face painted on Godzi's back of his head? That was like a reverse body position that was just gone into there. <laughs> that defies <laughs> joints, human human joints. What was going on there? I heard you had not so nice things to do. He has a beautiful lady's voice. To one of my members. Eh. One of my dear, dear members. An African. He's Ruby Rod. He's like ultra woke Ruby Rod. Yeah. 
put a peanut That's mother that you doxxed and thought you could get away with it, thought we were gonna back down. Only he wasn't on Epstein's plane. Take it. This is so much less fun than a gathering of the Juggalos clip. What are you so talking much about? Less. No, that's not gonna happen. Can I get a whoop whoop? Mess with the wrong one this time. Why is he like yeah. not whoop. wearing his belt properly? Like the he just got it all the way around, and then at the end, it's just like, eh, fuck it. It'll just go. He down. gave Stop up at the end. Stop turning your hands around like that. It's creepy. So yes, you did. Stop being a backwards oh, man. Yeah, yes. I was gonna did. say he's, he's doing like bone breaking hip hop. Yeah. Stop with the backwards man. I'm the backwards man. The backwards man. I'm the Stop backwards it. man. The backwards man. I can walk backwards <laughs> fast as you can. Get him a fago. We gotta lively this the backwards up. Man, the backwards man. Cause we don't <laughs> take it lightly. When harm is done to our African and colonized women. And that's why at Black Hammer we say, touch one, touch, all. touch one, touch all. That's what they say about dicks. One, touch all. If you that's touch one dick, you gotta touch them all. Touch yes. one, touch all. Dicks are like ruffles to Godzi Kozo. You touched one of us. Can't so just eat one. now you touched all of us, and we're Once gonna have to do something about stuff. it. We're going to walk around like backwards men with our wrists 180 degrees into our fucking kneecaps. Stop doing that. It's not natural. He, he cuffed his pants at the bottom so you could see that he's wearing some nice boots. That's cute. <laughs> with the Barishnikov footwork. And then you wanted to talk about me. You wanted to call me anti-Semitic. You are, you are actually, you are actually anti Pro Probably. It's a I know very little about you, he but is. I bet you've said some wild yeah. shit oh, about he you. Has. Because he is very <laughs> racist. <laughs> An the most or... racist thing I can remember Gazi Kozo saying, and it might be the most racist because it was the one that actually made me feel like bad towards white people. He's a oh yeah yeah. yeah. A, when he referred to a white woman as blue cheese, I was like, <laughs> I was I never thought I would hear a diss towards a white person that we actually found was offensive. The first racial yes. thing to hurt yes. white people. Yes. We finally did it. Yes. Cave Becky was just like, eh, eh he's I mean, a Holocaust do that, but whatever. But like no, blue cheese is like blue oh, cheese. No, no, no. I was like, I never thought Damn. I would hear that. <laughs> That's Damn. fucked up. Against vaccines, you wanted to call me. You are against vaccines. We just watched you do a protest <laughs> against vaccines. Everyone's accusing me of being against vaccines because I'm against vaccines. <laughs> oh, it's like someone accusing you of wearing an orange hat. You know, like. <laughs> You made a video doing it. Kinds of horrific things. Um, but I don't really give a damn. And none of us give a damn. But where you went wrong was when now, you died. Like I, you I, I don't want to make assumptions here, but I would be willing to bet all of the money in my pocket, which as we know is $12,000 carried at all times. I would be willing to bet that some of the guys standing against the back wall are probably homophobic and didn't know what they were getting into today and now really want to leave. See, this is the thing. I disagree. I think every yeah. one of those guys back there are closet. They're, they're, if, okay. they're, if they display I mean, any homophobia, too. it's a deterrent for people to pick up on them wanting to slide that freaking meat whistle uh, that Gazi Kozo has packing between their fucking fago thighs when they do that backwards Certainly. man shtick. So, those two but, groups are not mutually exclusive. There's not a at lot all. more overlap than you'd think. No, yeah. It's, yeah, that, that Venn diagram is almost a circle. I just don't but count homophobia the, from closet cases. I guess I should. No, absolutely. And there, yeah, it's, it, there's certainly a lot of crossover. But but I, I feel like there's probably a few guys who just had see, seen and maybe not or read and not heard just Ghazi's opinions and then came to this meetup that night and they're like, oh, this is actually not my kind of guy. <laughs> maybe. I think Ghazi just gets all the ex-military submissive men and they're like, sure. oh, you know what? I was... Which I, is I, greedy. I, leaves none for the rest of us. Yeah. One of my members, an amazing... African Filipino mother 
And this is there, so cringy and when weird. I, when I go to the blackhammer.org, there's a reparations section. Yeah. And it's like, are you white? Do you want to help? Do you want to be a good person on the right side of history? The only no, way to no, wash the those. blood off your hands is through following the leadership of African, indigenous, and colonized people and paying reparations for all that's been stolen in your name. Mm. Yeah. I know so many I'm people. I'm on the white side of history. How great would it be to have enough extra income where you could just pay for reparations? I would yeah, love cool. to have that much extra money. You made her so worried about her own safety. Unfortunately, I wouldn't pay it, but I'd like to have that I much money. I spend my extra money on Chipotle guacamole instead of reparations. Right pay now. for a more expensive an security system, and she could barely afford it because you know that's the reality of us poor and working class black people. We just don't have money to spend, 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 make it rain, rain, rain like that. And especially I, not with COVID. I think I'm going to press X on that one where he's a poor and working class person. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just have a little bit of doubt on that. What do you think he is? I, I, I think he's a Silicon Valley billionaire. Judging by the music, <laughs> I, would I would say a sugar plum direction. fairy. Yeah. <laughs> Dun 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 dun. It's some dun, fucking dun 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 dun. dun. It's some most jingle poor shit. Working class, like most poor working class people don't have time to put on productions like this. That's true. <laughs> wow, yeah, the, uh, the spare time level is uh, fairly high with him. And officially, the polls come back. Magicus, fifty-two percent of people say you're wrong about the cork. Nah. Madge, because you got done dirty. The cork is great. Yeah, I blame I, Billy I, for voting. I blame Billy for voting no because the voting is based idea. on poundage. That's, that's true. true. That is, I, I'm willing to accept that 47%. So that's good enough for me. I, I feel vindicated. It's almost a D. <laughs> nice. <laughs> which is what I like. Which is how I describe my penis. <laughs> Have you ever had Jolly Bee before? No, it's a it's a fast food I would, chain. It's I would on. love to have Jollibee, but I have never been near one. They have been trying to open one in Vancouver for two years. Oh, really? It hasn't happened yet. Really? They have a location and it hasn't opened the entire. Well, it was is some sort of pandemic going on. I, I don't yeah. read the news, but yeah, there's yeah. one Jollibee around here. Uh, it's uh, it's in Tequila, and it, it's a Filipino. Uh, chain of chicken restaurants chicken and what else is there spaghetti spaghetti yeah that's it what yes okay. it's says chicken and burgers impressed. on the on the menu or on the wall here yeah but they have they do sir uh it's it's a crazy I'm menu. a motherfucking jolly bee do yep. you want to have some sketty i got okay. sketty and chicken i was on board with this until you showed me the the mascot Whatever. Oh, Jollibee got cakes. Jollibee came to yeah. fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jollibee you got you have to be You have to be okay with that. Yeah, That's if you're not, if deal. you're mistaken, if Jollibee's Burger not caking. Oh. With a side of rice. Yeah, it's, it's uh, except for the rice, it's keto. Let me get a fucking burger steak. Bro. I'm not eating this shit. It's Jollibee, man. Fuck Jollibee. What's that Halo Halo what? drink? That looks cool. Go click on the Halo Scroll Halo, the Halo so Halo. I can Halo. jack off. Halo Halo? Yeah. Oh, this? What's going on there? There's What's like a the piece of fucking milk toast tofu cheesecake caramel corfu on the top. It looks fun. Can we can we look at it? I, I Literally think, means mixed mix is a right Filipino right dessert that deliciously layers refreshing treats with shaved ice for a perfect summer treat. What the fuck, I love man? Treats and shaved what ice. the fuck, mm. Scott? Would you would you enjoy a Halo Halo? I would love a Halo Halo. Absolutely. What would you do? I want some. I want some chicken. Halo, I want some skinny. Halo. And Can, I want a Halo Halo. Ben, click the family bucket meal deal. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what the fuck they're ben mailing out on. Ben, screwing around ben, and click the family bucket pies. Meal deal. The Chicken Joy ben, Bucket just, Treat A comes with six-piece Chicken Joy Bucket served with gravy for dipping, a burger steak family pack, and three peach mango pies. Ooh, what the hell is that? Order me one of those. Oh, that sounds good. The, 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 they got a, a, pal, a palabuck fiesta family pack is that like paella is there damn chicken in there what's what, a pale buck this what's a pale buck i don't know pale buck the pale buck fiesta 
What the what the is hell? Is, what is that thing with the shrimp it's in it? It's got eggs in it too. Is that egg paella shrimp? What's going on here? What the Fried hell, rice, man? Halibut sauce contains shrimp and pork that cannot be removed. This is like you can't you can't remove shrimp and pork from the frickin' the 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 the, the meal. That that's the shrimp and pork forty four hundred calories for six pieces of chicken, a bowl of that pale buck, and three peach mango pies. That is good eating. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. What's this Chicken yeah. Joy Bucket Treat D? They're like, instead of all that other infamous shit like spaghetti, we're just going to give you five piles of rice. rice. Yeah, yep. That's stupid. Five rice pucks. <laughs> oh, you know what they did, though? They they upped it to five peach mango pies instead of three. More pies. It is more pies. They're like, we're going to yeah. give you a four, five fucking stupid rices and two extra yep. pies. Put your and pie on the rice. Look at the calorie counter up. go up there. The other one was 3,300 to 4,400 calories. This is almost 7,000 calories. That peach pie. But it's a 10-piece chicken, too. The other one was a six-piece chicken. This, this whole the bucket thing pie. pisses me off. Why? I don't know. Is this mashed potatoes and gravy? <laughs> this is mashed potatoes, this. gravy, yep, and fries. They're like 10-piece chicken, three large sides. They have reheating instructions here. That yep. tells me when you get this, it's not going to be heated well. It better be heated well. If or I'm maybe gonna... they're just looking out for you in case your dumbass delivery guy I takes hope a little so, too long. I hope so, dude. I hope it's that. Dude, click the one with spaghetti now, Ben. I <laughs> see. Really interesting combinations here. I got to be real. 5,000 calories for a damn six-piece a bucket of spaghettis and three mango peach pies. This pisses me off. Why, Why does it piss you off? <laughs> because you want to eat it? it? Yes. I'm on keto. Yeah. <laughs> you can't eat the battered chicken, the spaghetti, or the mango. Oh, you can't eat I can't any, have any of that shit. It looks delicious. <laughs> I want it now. Piss. But, what, Billy, what you can do is you can Google image search sexy Jollibee. Fuck and you. I no. Think <laughs> I'm doing you it. Maybe a pleasantly surprised. Sexy <laughs> Jolly Bee search. search Jolly Bee rule 34. Jolly Bee sexy dancing baby I'm worth it. Yes. That's the that's the face I came for, Billy. That's the goddamn face oh! I came for. Yes. Cakes. Yes. Cakes. Yes. Cakes. Yes. yes. Let yes. me knock yes. the yes. fucking spaghetti out of that. <laughs> Little bee. <laughs> That's that not fucker a little bee. knows exactly what he's doing. Yeah, Let there me is knock. A, there is a right. Jolly Bee mascot like that. The spaghetti pie. out your peach mango pie. Jolly Bee, I could bang you. Jolly Bee, I could rail you. Jolly Bee. <laughs> Jolly Bee, you could be a treat for me. I could rail you. I could nail you. Jolly Bee. Let me eat those Jolly Bee cakes, those mango pies. Let me beat the brakes off you, Jolly Bee. Till spaghetti shoots out of your holes. <laughs> Fire. Sometimes, well, that was fun for everyone. sometimes you just got to enjoy Jolly Bee. You do. I think it sounded like you were enjoying him a little bit too much, though. No, nope, wow. just right. Who are you to just judge, right. Magicus? <laughs> Who are you to judge? <laughs> it's not my fault I enjoy Jolly Bee the way the Bebe Cheese enjoys drunken peasants. It's not my fault. <laughs> True. <laughs> Hornily. Yes. <laughs> it's not my fault. The, I get uh, all wet in the ass cheeks over a fucking caked out bee. The the slap canal is soaking right exactly. now. Exactly. Let's put it this yeah, way, man. Jolly bees. Jolly bees weird. Like I I've never eaten there. I would love to eat there, but it does seem like if you described a fast food restaurant to an alien and then told them to open said restaurant. That you'd kind of get Jolly Bee, like fried chicken. Okay, good start, makes sense. Also spaghetti, <laughs> and then oh, a mascot you can fuck also. Yeah, that's then definitely put together steak? by extraterrestrials. And a hamburger say not a hamburger. Let me be very clear, not a hamburger. A hamburger steak, a thing that no other place in the world serves. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. That's eerily reminiscent right to a Salisbury steak, Scott. It's just their rendition of the Salisbury steak. Similar is not equal to. Of course not. But do you think that spaghetti is equal to anything else that's ever been called spaghetti? 
It looks different. <laughs> Absolutely That's a not. fucking noodle puddle, and you yeah. know it. I'm just saying, be wary if you order anything that has honey in it from there. <laughs> True. <laughs> Bill, you don't like spaghetti with bright red sauce and cheddar cheese on it? Look, <laughs> you know I like that. He would eat it. <laughs> you know I'd pleasure myself while slurping I that really, down. Look, let me be clear. I really want to eat there. It's just weird. <sighs> I can't wait until the Vancouver location opens in 2027. Yeah. Just come down to Seattle. We'll drive down to Tukwila. We'll get some prostitutes. I, uh, actually, I I did come down to Seattle like a week and a half ago, and nobody met me. So uh, maybe I won't come down to Seattle. To be again. fair, to be fair, that is the, a reason not to come back down to Seattle. <laughs> we we mother we mother effed you. I was oh, getting is new that, tires uh, that Mercedes day. Mercedes Carrera's ex husband huh? is it? No, it's oh. this guy goes to a Jolly B. Is that Doctor Tran? He's going to Jolly He's Bee. He's a real doctor. This is pre-COVID too. Doctor. No, he has a mask on. No, I know the mask is pre-COVID. It's just, he just wears that so people won't see his smile at Jolly Bee. He doesn't want to give give away the fact he's so fucking happy to be there. Why does it look like he's eating spaghetti underneath his mask? <laughs> he knows what he's doing. He's wearing like a horse feeder. Oh, there he's got the Kilo Kilo Peepo Pie. Oh, I want that. Look at that t- toy he's about to eat, that delicious treat. I don't know what it is, but I want to eat all of it. That looks like Ruffian Fuck. Smegma mixed with Kilo uh-huh. Dots. Ruffian that Smegma. sounds good. It does, doesn't it? I wonder if anyone's ever said those two words back to back before. That pie Probably. looks good, man. That pie looks like it's got cancer. It looks like Deadpool. That means it's delicious. I mean, it does. Lo- it yeah, looks exactly like, no. like the pies you get from McDonald's, except it's just peach. Yeah. Like if you if you rub it against the wall, the wall turns clear. That thing's got crusties it's your window on way it. to weight gain. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what the hell is he dipping? He's it? dipping it, is, it in the fucking dessert. Dude, this guy's a madman. I hate it when people do that shit. He's a madman. Oh, this guy rocks. You do I that love, with your I love fries. What, what was this shit called again? Come That's on. the Pico Polo uh, Pico- Papaduco. Uh, what is this? Is there, okay. It, there's spaghetti on the bottom okay. of it. Okay. There's pasta and there's eggs and there's pork and there's shrimp. Okay. This shrimp. right here, this right here looks like somebody got creative with dog vomit and I want to eat it. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, you know it's bad, but I want to eat it. Nothing about that looks like like it should be edible, but I want it all in me. You know what? what Up close, this? that spaghetti looks okay. It no, can get it, in you it, without you eating it, though. It, look, it looks fine. It looks what what's, the what the hell is in that jar? jar? You leave the jar out of this. <laughs> Holy hell, man! It's like it looks like there's chopped oh. up hot dogs. Is that like what like is like that in the jar? Human eyeball. Oh, there's yeah. the, the, the It looks like a mad steak. scientist throwaway. Here's your steakums. Burger steak. Burger steak. And he's reheating it the way they suggest on the website. My guy going okay, to the I, Jolly Bee. I can't Bee. not stare at the jar every time it cuts back to him. What the hell is in there? <laughs> it says rice meal. What do you got? It's a what rice the hell? A deliciously satisfying rice meal. Dude, I love the drawer microwaves, by the way. Have you ever had a drawer microwave? I haven't. This is new to me, oh, and I think dude, it's pretty fucking I've sad. used I've a drawer microwave that. before, and it made me feel like everybody else God lied damn. to me. Now, chat's got yeah, this. right? This looks like something I feel like that now. Would hate. You can microwave foil in a drawer microwave. It's the future. What? Yeah. What are you talking about? I'm talking about they don't care about foil in drawers. They're like, it's not the same. It's not the same. That's crazy. Because I've got a lot of foil in my drawers, so this is important for me. I think you can microwave foil in them. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, we might have walked foil. that one back a bit. Yeah, don't I don't want. Do don't that. do it. Don't do it. No, don't do it. Maybe, I, maybe don't do it. I Let made me see. that mistake once. Uh, microwave, do microwave foil. Fool me once. Microwave foil. <laughs> uh, can you microwave aluminum trays? Can you put aluminum foil in a microwave? No, don't you can't. Don't put anything metallic in your microwave. That's a mistake. It's not recommended. Don't do it, guys. Yeah, nothing metal goes into a microwave. Yeah, don't do it, guys. Not um, even a drawer microwave. No, why would that be any different? Because they're drawers. That doesn't change the way it works. It just changed the way it opens. I don't know. I know. I don't know. <laughs> I know. You know what? Look, good points have been made on both sides. I think we just call this one a draw. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ben says you can't microwave metal, and it doesn't matter how the door to the microwave opens. Billy says, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and now it says here, it says uh, how to use aluminum foil in your microwave oh drawer. Oh, my God. Don't. Uh, and also it says if you're dumb enough to use Didn't aluminum foil in your microwave drawer, <laughs> you don't deserve a microwave drawer, right. it says. Yes. <laughs> It says fuck off if you're Googling this. You shouldn't have a the microwave how drawer. It's just one word. It just says no. <laughs> oh, what a, what a poetic sentence in the chat there. The life of Billy. Certainty turns to doubt, turns to contradiction, turns to certainty. That's just how short boys do. I'm not or sure. Or uh, read it like the, like the speech to text, short bois do. Short yeah, everything bois you do. said. You have to do, take every inch you can get. All everything right? you said must be wrong because it ended with a wrong statement. I'm not a short boy. <laughs> He's a short boy. The rest girl. was so accurate, though, that the whole that the I was willing to agree with wrong. the rest of it until you threw in that below the belt jab. Now I think it's all malarkey. Well, Billy, you're so short, you're below all of our belts. <laughs> it's not true. That's what IMDb says. Because yeah, people are putting. Hooky do on my name. Hooky do. <laughs> IMDb has my height correct to the half inch. So why would it be different for because anyone people, else? Because people people don't care enough about you to troll you the way they care about me, Scott. <laughs> I have jovial jabs pointed towards me, twenty four seven. Do you have ruffian smegma pointed at you? I got, dude. I got ruffian everything. I got people over here with drawer microwaves trying to foil me. <laughs> they are. And I'm just saying, they are. If, we, if we agree to my invention of the cork, you could have something else pointed at you, too. I got True. things pointed at me street. all the time. I don't need more. Keep the cork to yourself. Go put a cork in your ass for a week and tell me if it starts to bleed. <laughs> Who says that I don't? <laughs> Touche. Do You don't know me. You don't know what I do. You don't know I me. I know. I know you, Magicus. You probably got a fucking pair of Jingle Bell nipple clamps in a drawer next to you. You throw them on. I don't know about those. You throw them on. You strip down to nothing but those clamps on your nipples and a fucking thong. That's a Cisco thong song edition from the late nineties. And you back your ass up into um, a mirror. You back your ass up into a it mirror and shake it so your titties jingle with the jingle balls and your booty cheeks clap together and you sing and you sing fucking Nicki Minaj while you vaccinate yourself every night. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> That, Where's the lie? True. I sing Taylor Swift. Ah, Tay Tay. Racist. So, uh, <laughs> how, how'd you feel about uh, Dark Side of the Ring, Scott? Plane ride from hell? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Did you Rick see? Rick did nothing wrong. Tommy <laughs> Dreamer's pretty chill. Yeah. Um, well, I did see uh, Rob Van Dam said that they edited shit to take him out of context. He's come out and said that. And now uh, the the accuser in the documentary that's accusing Ric Flair and others, it turns out like a couple of years ago, she was arrested for stealing $80,000 in jewelry. I saw that. I saw that yeah. she was arrested for stealing jewelry. I'm like, that doesn't necessarily mean she was lying about that Ric Flair. That doesn't. Dick. It doesn't. It's just a different thing that happens. No, no, it, no, no. It, Look, it, it if you rob anybody, it you lie. It doesn't necessarily. You can't That's true. you can't rob somebody and no be trustable. No one who's ever robbed was ever sexually assaulted 14 years earlier. <laughs> That's true. This much we can agree on. All I'm saying is she never would have robbed those people if Ric Flair hadn't broken her spirits. <laughs> Absolutely broke her. Yeah. We That's, know for yeah. a fact had Ric Flair never been on that plane, had a good legend like Hulk Hogan been on that plane, <laughs> That woman would be just fine today. Hogan would have given her jewels just because. Legend Hulk Hogan. Yes. Here's the deal about classic wrestlers. You had to be a real piece of trash to be a classic wrestler. Yeah. If you're an 80s wrestling star, you are garbage. <laughs> or insane. Just... That's also an option. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we... The real people behind the characters aren't what most people are a fan of. You know, Hulk Hogan, yeah. Hulk Hogan, I think, is actually a pretty good dude that is just 
old school dumb. I popped for Jerry Lawler when he came out uh, at the thing me and Scott went to. I've he heard a lot up. of stories about Hogan like using his money to help people who are like in need. Sure. I I don't know. I feel I feel like it sucks. Like he's a hero to a lot of people, and to a lot of people, he's a, a demon. You know. It reminds me of myself a little bit. I think that's true for a lot of other wrestlers. You are a real Hulk Hogan type, Billy. Yeah, a lot of people look at me and they think, uh, you know, they look up to me and other people look at me and they look down on me. And I it, think most look down just because of the height. It's no, not, it's even not true. I'm actually thing. pretty tall. Uh, no. Yeah, and I'm, I'm notably, like, taller than most people um, that I stand next to. <laughs> notably. Yeah. <laughs> Billy the Fridge, notably tall. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people say that about me. Uh, they'll be like, hi, oh, you know, he's, he's, they, they say this, they say, yeah. they say. I'm going to make yeah, a I note thought, of how thought, tall he is. Yeah, they, I thought he would have been shorter is what they would say to me. And I'm like, no, <laughs> no, I'm notably tall. And then, uh, and then some people, you know, they, they just don't, I don't know. They they don't they don't get me and they look down on me and they think because I'm boisterous and I have a take no shit attitude that I must you do be, be boisterous. I do be boisterous sometimes and yeah. they must think they must think that I'm full of myself. But really, I'm one of the most humble people I know. <laughs> really? Why are you laughing? They're looking down. Oh, I'm probably the most humble oh, person man. in the world. If there was a world yeah. prize for humbleness, I'd probably win it. Yeah, I, I'm the I'm the humble cup holder ten years in a row, yeah. and that's only because I didn't compete before then. I'm actually way better at being humble than like all yeah. these other losers. Yeah, everybody who watches wrestling, they they like they achieve to go like win the Royal Rumble. I I just I win the loyal humble. Royal because I'm humble, loyal absolutely. and humble. Okay. I'm loyal and humble. Are we? Uh, is the show done now? No, we actually Show's have done. to. We have to yeah. be loyal and humble for 17 more minutes. The, the only okay. reason people look down no. on you is because they have to crane their necks down to see you. None of this is none. Of, you know, you know. Magicus, why seventeen more minutes? <laughs> when you sit it, on, we're your, not doing. We're, the show's over. <laughs> when you sit on your pedestal and you look down on people, you know that says more about you than it says about the ones you look down on. Why did you do seventeen you? minutes? <laughs> if you could just, if you could just look look up sometimes, Magicus, and stop looking down, you might see you might see a better view. You know. You're fixated on on. Okay, so I just want to say I want to say that Billy's build height, where he where he builds himself, he's only like five to six inches taller than average height. But then his true height, he's only like four average inches height taller. is five foot seven. No, it's not. It's five nine. That's not true. Five seven is five average. nine is average height for a man worldwide. Uh, not well worldwide, of course. I'm talking about Philippines. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You talking about Guatemala? Manny Pacquiao, dude. <laughs> Manny Pacquiao is the tallest man in the Philippines and is five foot nine. Yeah. That's the true. The average human height for a male is five foot six. Where? Is that included like is that including? I, I went I typed that's for a human. I'm talking about for a man. It says male, human male. Look, I Googled it says human average male. height that includes, for That's men. including every child. This is in the United States. You said worldwide. <laughs> you said worldwide. Oh, yeah, okay. Type in average height of male in the world, and it's telling me 5 foot and 7.5 I mean, like, inches. So at best, you're like... At eight, best, hold on. At best, you're like eight inches taller than average when there's people who are literally like two feet taller than that. That's, so what does that say about how tall you are in the grand best, scale of things? Three inches that tells shorter me than average. you want to argue a straw man to take away my earned inches. <laughs> That's a straw man. Well, straw men are taller notably than you. tall yeah. because they're on a freaking <laughs> stick. Oh, they're okay. hoisted up. However they got they're hoisted there, up they on a stick. There. Sure thing. They're hoisted up on a stick. These are my earned <laughs> inches. You want to take them away? Look, all I'm saying is, what incentive would IMDb have to lie? I do want to say. Yeah. I do want to say we they searched. We searched worldwide average height, and what was it? Five foot seven. And, and I said, even if that's the case, you're still slightly above average height. No, I'm Com like if you look at the whole range of height in the world. You're slightly above average height. If you look at the threshold that women put up when they say they don't want no short, short man, it's six foot tall. That's the threshold. I'm above that. Who says that? M most women who have height issues say, I won't date nobody shorter than six foot tall. And I'm like, I'm like, okay. This is purely anecdotal. No, this is yeah, actually what... like the same people that fucking walk into like the chicken and waffles place without a mask on. 
Like, I wouldn't cite them as my example here. And with that... Damn, average height in Yemen is five foot three. Go to Yemen, Billy. What about Guatemala? You could be, be almost average. I always well, thought the people in Central Yemen America... I always thought it was in Central America you'd find, like, the lowest average height. Uh, for one, even if I was short, I'd be a Guatemala fucking god. Guatemala is 5'4", so not, not as short as okay. Yemen. Yemen is very short. Huh. I'm tall and I'm handsome. And people who see that are the ones that understand. People who actually are need to keep repeating it all the time. I don't have to repeat it. You guys bring it up every episode, and I have to defend myself. You definitely brought up being tall. No, I didn't. Go back to the archives. You brought it up today. I said said something stupid about putting foil in microwaves. That's the only thing tonight I said that was wrong. The next thing you said was, I'm so tall. I can't even believe how tall I am. That was a non sequitur. <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. Good like, night. Good night. night. Good night. This is over. Follow Scott. Good night. Yeah. Hey, follow, follow Scott. Scott. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> In the beginning, there was nothing, and then there was the Drunken Peasants podcast. Drunken peasants. Drunken peasants. Drunken peasants, drunken peasants From the strangest corners of the internet Gonna get TP'd by Billy and Ben You know where you can find them at Get ready cause they're gonna kick your Drunken peasants, drunken peasants Drunken peasants, drunken peasants, drunken peasants.